Yo, what's up, guys? I'm so f I'm so tired. Oh, I woke up. I know this sounds this is some normie shit, but I woke up at 7:30 today. I just oh, I'm gonna need so much coffee, man. I was so close to going straight to Starbucks and getting two coffees and just making that shit last. And instead, I, I was a good boy. I was a good boy. I, I countered the, the inner Zoomer and I didn't get Starbucks. Because as we all know, Starbucks and avocado toast really are. <laughs> really is the, uh, the end of this generation. Like, oh my god. How can we live with that? My money! My five dollars! Alright, hopefully, hopefully it's all good. I'm not gonna have shit pulled up, so... If stream gets scuffed, stream gets scuffed, it, it should be fine. I think. What time is it? It's, uh, almost 10. Oh, I gotta close this thing. I got, got a little bit of a banger of a thumbnail, right? Actually, it's probably tiny on YouTube. It probably doesn't stand out that much. Got that, got that headshot lined up from last stream. Oh! Oh! Honestly, it's so funny to me, man. I really expected to just feed my brains out yesterday because I thought there'd be a bunch of cheaters. And, uh, and I also just haven't been playing Tarkov and legit first raid just, like, clapped a dude. And did I watch the blackening? No. No, I thought it looked funny, but it's also, like, horror movies aren't my type of thing, so... I don't know if I'll watch it ever. Ooh! Oh. Oh. I do a quest? This man didn't even give me ammo for this gun. I didn't do anything off stream, by the way. So, I have to sell a bunch of stuff. As we kind of get into things. I also might do, like, a scav or an offline or something to, like... Kind of, like, get a little baby warm-up in. Little baby something. Okay, let me sell. I'm not going for Kappa. Let me sell this. Get out. Wait, I can't. Oh. Guess I sell it to Jaeger. Oh my, should I be a nerd? How much is Moonshine worth? Should I look this up? Tarkov Flea Market. Because I'm too noob. <laughs> I can't even look at it, man. I wish they would at least let you look at stuff on the flea market. I think it's kind of messed up. Like, I don't know. I, it actually makes sense. Honestly, 232. Yeah, I should probably hold on to it. Like 100k more. Get rid of this garbage. Gee, hang on. We got a, we got a min max. What do I need first? Skier. Boom. Take this trash, please. Is this a scav gun? Oh, it's actually okay. Should I hold on to this just in case I need it for quest? I maybe should. Get rid of the hat. I'm really hoping I don't die a bunch today. We'll have to see. Take this stupid thing back. I think that's enough. I, for now, like, let's be real. Is that enough? Maybe do, maybe do a little bit of this stuff. Squash is 10k? Why? Who cares? Dude, I don't want to eat squash in real life. Given, like, they're down bad here, because this is, like, apocalyptic future. But still. Imagine imagine going squash over beef, beef stew. Everybody's got to be beef stew gang, right? The wiggle that killed Mast. <laughs> Better do Scotty and A to Z. I'm not going to lie. I know whenever I get to it, I will be so tempted to just skip over it and I'll think it's the funniest thing. 
I really will. I'll be so proud and so smug. Trying sells better on Flea? I doubt it matters that much. 10k for what? What is wrong? Dude, this market makes no sense, man. This is a little pouch of water. Full on water bottle? Oh. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Those things are everywhere. Little pouch of water? What is this, man? Is this like thrift store water so it's like cooler? So what is Tarkov? Tarkov is kind of its own thing. Tarkov is, um... It's an extraction-based shooter. Semi-realistic. It's not all that realistic, but it's like... It's realistic compared to normal shooting, shooting games. Um... Got a lot of gun modding to it. Like, if I take this thing off, if I had traders unlocked, I could do... Actually, this is a terrible example of a gun. But in general, like, all these different slots are normally things you can either put things in or just, like, straight up change. The gun won't work if you take off too much stuff. Like, I need certain parts to it and stuff like that. There's a ton of gun modding to it. And it's got a health system, so your limbs have different HP. Different things happen when they're, like, wounded. If your chest or head gets, like, shot all the way down, then you just die. These you can kind of staple together and, like, manage to trudge on without... Oh, there's like an armor and penetration system. There's a bunch of different stuff to it. It's like a fairly complex, like, looting shooter game where you actually have, like, a persistent stash of loot and stuff, and when you die, you lose everything you brought in. Yeah, let me stock up on ammo a little bit. Little bit. $17, little bit. All right, yeah, I, think we'll, I think we'll actually run a scav. I really want to mostly PMC, but I also want to warm up a little bit. Oh, should I scav interchange? That might be the play, man. Night scav interchange? Hang on. I'm scouting. Nice. I don't know if that meant anything. I just wanted to see how many players were in the queue. I haven't played Hunt Showdown. I think they're somewhat similar. Hunt's definitely way more casual than Tarkov. As far as I know, Hunt, you kind of just get in, and then it's just like learning the game. Tarkov, there's like straight up a ton of progression. Maybe Hunt has a lot of progression that I just don't know about, but Tarkov's, like, absurd progression. Like, even, even if you're an experienced player, it will take, I don't know what the actual hour count is, but it'll take, like, I'm guessing absolute minimum 100 hours to get all the traders unlocked and get all the, the like, weapon mods and stuff. Um, and I think, realistically, it'd be, like, normally minimum 300 hours. And then it resets every half year. So <laughs> you got you to gotta play a decent amount to even like just unlock everything in the game. No, Hunt's kind of similar. Because there's just like, um, there just aren't very many games. I don't, normally shooting games are like Battlefield and COD. And like Hunt is way closer to Tarkov than Battlefield or COD. They both have PvE. They both have PvP mixed in with the PvE. So, like, they're a little bit similar. But Hunt is way more of, like, a COD Zombies take on Tarkov, where it's, like, more casual and does its own thing. And now there's DMZ! But that looks like some trash. I was so excited for potential Con Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Tarkov. Oh my god, it is red. Is this red as hell for you guys? I think this is my filter that I have on my monitor. And it's probably also time out. Who? Who did this? Comrade, no. Oh, tell me they left the ammo. They left the Momex. They're dumb as hell. Damn it. Should we do another little detective? There's really... Is there just no blood because I just loaded in? Is that how that works? I think that might be how that works. All right, how much time we got left? 22 minutes, plenty of time. I should run around yelling for PMCs. Okay, so it's... Huh. So I queued 21 hours. I don't know why I said it that way. I don't know why I said the military time when I literally knew what I was thinking, which is 9 p.m. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I queued 9 p.m. I thought it'd be dark, man. Is this, is this Russia 9 p.m.? I really don't play, I don't do nighttime Tarkov, man. Because I know way back when I started trying to queue it, it felt sus as hell, man. It felt like there had to be cheaters everywhere. Because I like, when I queued it before, 
at least like once I wasn't a complete noob, it'd be like completely kitted out and just insta die from random angle. It's like, come on, man. I got I got the good night vision on. I should be able to see. I can't see. Like, where the fuck are they? By the way, sorry for it being probably dark as hell in here for you guys. Well, welcome to interchange. Lighting not found. Can I? Oh, I start with a quest item. Look at that. Game's got the hookup for me. Oh, who's leaving stuff? Give me that. Oh, they didn't put this in yet. I was seeing something on the Reddit about there being, um, I guess it's just like a proposed change or upcoming change. Oh, can I not? I thought I could dump that. I wanted to go the cool way to make it so you don't have to examine stuff. And I was even thinking about making a Reddit post about it to, to meme a little bit and being like, can we, <laughs> can we make sure to complain that we no longer have to examine stuff? What about the XP guys? What about the three XP you get every time you examine a new item? New players got farmed this wipe. How are we supposed to recover? Is this mayo? Yeah. Mayo being, I'm pretty sure mayo is like 10K. That I get. That I absolutely get. Cause like, let's be real. You're eating shit out of cans 24 seven in the future. Like having a little mayo to throw on whatever, whatever it remotely fits. That's probably nice, right? Oh, oh, give me that. I don't remember, I think I still need two of these. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. Uh, okay, this might be last beef stew. I think I just need two of those just in case we can grab this. Yoink. Um, there's a good barter I can try and get if I keep looting squash and if I loot, I need to go buy crackers, um, not, not in real life in the game, but <laughs> if I keep looting some squash and then also, God, what's the other thing? Tea? Yeah, I need green tea. I don't think there is any green tea. Oh, wait, what's this? I can't even tell, it's so dark in here, I legit like can't see what can is what. Is that what this is? That's what this is. I don't know how many of these I need. Does anybody actually play and no? Give me that. I literally, they're like no textures, man. Good old interchange. I kind of already been around the block and I'm still, <laughs> still going around fighting stuff. Even more. Oh? No, stupid energy drink, don't care. Alright, I think... I think that's all I'm gonna find. I should probably just extract, honestly. This is a ton of stuff for quest. I could go greed for Iskras. Might not be the dumbest thing. Console gamers and ranked lobbies? I think it's good. I think console players should be able to play with PC players. Um, I think inherently, like no offense to console players, but I definitely think inherently console players are gonna tend to be worse. But like the whole point of ranked is to filter out people like in a ranking, so I don't think it matters. Like the system should just be, you know, the same way. The same way PC players get ranked, console players should get ranked similarly. So I think overall, like their MMR should go down because they're getting matched with PC players on average. But like, I think it's fine. It's like as long as MMR properly represents them. Because I've definitely had some good console players now that they've been added to ranked. But then sometimes I have some where it's like, why? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I have some where it's like, why did it put you here? How did you get this MMR? Hello? I'm friendly. I doubt anybody's here. I probably shouldn't even be talking. <laughs> I don't even need this. 
I'm looting it just because I can. Look at this. Look at this. This is how you stock up in the future. This is like Guide to the Apocalypse right here. Yeah, grocery simulator. Yeah, luckily it's pretty rare that... I mean, you don't even have to do it to begin with, but it's pretty rare to play grocery simulators. That's good. God damn it, BSG. This thing used to, I don't know if it's literally always, but almost always have this one food item I need. And they changed that. I'm pretty sure it still can. But like this one little baby loot run right here, as I run up these stairs, normally in the past would give me all the quest items I need for this one quest. And I'm probably going to get none. I get to turn that on at some point. What the hell? There's a scam up here? Oh, wait, no, the audio is probably scuffed. He's probably downstairs. Oh, my. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Okay, okay. That's something. It's something. Giga rat. Giga run. I don't even know if that's a scam or a PMC. But they are upstairs. I feel like the scams don't tend to be playing around up in that middle part as much up here. Because I did used to be an interchange rat. I know the map. Kind of spooked to go that way because I don't know. I've heard the audio is super scuffed on interchange where like floors have no meaning. So he could have been under, which means right there. I think I'm gonna go this way. Eggs eight dollars here too. Yeah, I don't think you want post-apocalypse eggs, man. <laughs> I think, I think if there's any eggs on the shelves, you leave those be, whether they're free or not. I could be wrong. Maybe I don't know any better. Maybe, maybe they get a real good taste the longer you leave them. Oh, min-maxed. Give me that. Am I chunky now? I'm kind of chunky now. That probably wasn't worth. Eventually having a car battery will be nice. And a quest for it at some point. Whatever, I could stand back, it's probably fine. What? Was I just trashed? I thought somebody died there. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> My legs! When's the Bacchus ADC vid coming? Dude, I got a comment on the last video about the Bacchus ADC. See, the downside to being a YouTuber or a streamer or anything is you can address things, but then like people are gonna miss it and then they're gonna like keep bringing it up. And so I got like a thing about like, why hasn't Mast addressed the Bacchus ADC? And I have like probably three times, but it's been half a year, so people miss it. <laughs> Never. If I do Bacchus ADC, it's pretty unlikely I do that build. I might, I might at some point give in to doing actual Bacchus ADC, because that I don't care about so much. But doing the build, I, I doubt it. Because at least to me, there are some builds that are like cheesy, bad, and fun. And then there are some chill builds that are cheesy, bad, and unfun. And I feel like Ring Bacchus is like not fun. 
It's just like hope the other team's really bad so you don't feed. Because you can do basically the same build with poly and power, but it's more fun and it's way better. And like you're still autoing to actually be able to kill people. You know? Right here. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> I want to take his legs off. <laughs> I'm a psycho. <laughs> I was so tough. To, I was so close to fucking with him right there, man. I wanted to like not even kill him, but just terrify him. Just piss him off a little. I'm a sick man. I was so close to saying some more shit, but it was gonna <laughs> I thought it's it's 10 a.m. man. I'll leave him be. I'll leave him be. Do I I should sell that thing? Oh no, I now I gotta sort so much stuff. What have I done? What have I, scav running when I'm already too full on loot? Nice. Real nice. Okay, okay, here we go. Does it fit? Oh. Okay, I guess I actually did sell a decent amount of stuff. Bing. No, I haven't. I haven't messed with the MZ. It looked really unfun to me. I think they worked on it a lot from when it came out, so it's probably way better now. But when it came out, oh, it looked so bad. Released the MZ, it looked like some straight trash. So I just kind of left it be, and I never, I never got cod. Although is DMZ free? Because Warzone's free, right? I think. Dark and Darker be a cool stream. I think I will do a Dark and Darker stream when it comes back. Um, I say a stream, like I'll probably just straight up stream it when it comes back. But that's still going to be at least a month. Hang on, let me throw these back in. What do I have to do right now? I can turn this stuff in. So I need Iskras. Oh, I wonder, can I craft Iskras? DMZ's free. Yeah, that's like maybe a game that I'd get into like with friends or something a little bit. I don't know. I really just can't craft anything, can I? I need a lighter. I need measuring tape. Toilet paper, classic. You guys remember the COVID toilet paper thing? Actually, did anyone not get affected by that? I'm assuming it varied by country. I'm assuming it was mostly an American thing. Although maybe not. Maybe it's just a people panic way too much thing. Because holy shit, like, chill. <laughs> chill. Oh my god, people were panicking. They thought it was like airborne Ebola or some shit. Like the world's just going to die off and we got to stock up and stay home. Like, <laughs> like it, was just, it was just bad. It wasn't going to be like... End of the world, man. <laughs> Shit was wild. Anyways, we need toilet paper. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're going to think I'm cheating. 22 KD. That's one thing I thought was funny with the hacker video that came out is they thought KD over 10 was cheats. And who knows, man, maybe people hack so often now that KD over 10 looks like cheats. But... Like, the two wipes that I've played the most, I'd had a KD at or above 10, and, like, I'm not anywhere near as good of a player as, like, I don't know, other people. Like, I was good. I wasn't, like, God tier. Definitely didn't have to cheat for it. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Because it counts scavs. If you kill, you know, if your KD is 22, and you kill 22 players every time you die, yeah, that's pretty sus. <laughs> but... <laughs> But it counts scabs, and it's so easy. There's so many raids where you just, like, kill eight scabs in one player and then extract. Yeah, DMZ definitely didn't look anywhere near as serious, because it's just, like, it's a lot more... It's focused way more on just kind of PvE plus PvP 
you kind of get into people doing stuff in zones and then running into each other a bit. Like, way more casual Tarkov, for sure. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I don't even know if it's really comparable to Tarkov, because really all it is is just there's bots and there's players. But, but it might be fun, now that they've been working on it. I know, um... I know there are some people that have just been playing it over and over again. Like, uh, what's his name? Stoda, I think, is still playing it a ton. Loki solo game? Dude, I might have to give it and do a Loki video soon. I might. Loki's actually good right now. It blows, but he is actually good right now. So I might end up doing something with him soon. It could be a different role, though. I don't know what role I'd play him in. Because he's good jungle. He should be fine solo. I think he's actually playable ADC because the meta is weird right now. His hunters are just kind of kind of bad early game. Oh, I really do just need to buy crackers. That's huge. If I can find one cracker, we got we got the next quest key. Just just a single cracker. <clears throat> I can say cracker on YouTube, right? Actually, you, you never got in trouble after that, like, seriously, on Twitch, right? Just saying the word. Like, like genuinely meeting crackers. <laughs> YouTube, please. You know what I mean. Let's see. Oh, look at strength level two. Oh, my God. I'm so strong. Wait, what the? I got a scav coming up. Look at that. Shades, Momex, bolt action suppressor. Damn. I'm gonna pop off with that scav. All right, what the hell am I doing? Hang on, hang on. Let me look at my tasks. And we go in. If I can go into this and the room happens to be open, then that would be neat. I need to kill scavs. Oh, I still need the Taz. That's good to remember. I need to find the stupid Iskras. Don't care about that yet. Wait, this is, this is a daily. Army cap. All right, whatever. We should be good. Let me add him. Yeah, I gave um the the quest item food to Jaeger. Is Thor really good right now? I think Thor is good. Um, I honestly like. I don't think he's OP or anything. I think he's just good. Wait, so if you're in Australia, can you tell me how many times a year do you see in real life a, uh, a Huntsman? Because I've been, I don't know what started it, but like I've recently come to the realization there is no way I ever go to Australia. It's, it's, I don't think it's happening. If I stayed in hotels, not houses, like, like anything to limit the possibility of seeing a Huntsman. I don't, I don't need that curse nightmare, man. Partially, same thing goes for parts of the South. Tarantula territory, kind of a no-no. Way less likely to see a tarantula, though. Because it sounds like Huntsmen's are just, like, everywhere. They're just, like, a regular spider that you see. Kangaroos would be cool. I, don't, I wouldn't get close. Like, kangaroo would be like, that. that's a weird-ass thing that exists. Don't know why you guys haven't made that species obsolete yet, but whatever. Want to go to New Zealand? New Zealand seems like it'd be a really cool place to visit. New Zealand's geography seems absolutely sick. God, I saw a picture of Hollywood the other day. Um, after the recent snow. I don't know. I don't know when it was taken, but I'm assuming it was like within the last few days because we just had a big snowstorm on the west coast. And uh dude, it was such a sick shot because you go from like beach to like kind of drier, like, I don't know, what you, I don't remember what you call it exactly, but like kind of like grassy, not like deserty, but like fairly dry. And you have like the snowy mountains in the back. It's like all these different biomes that you get in one shot that are all within like 30 miles of each other. Absolutely wild, man. I feel like, so, hmm. So to me, it's just like, it seems like Huntsmen, Huntsmen are something that you should expect to see if you live in Australia. 
And that's just like, that is too big of a spider for me to want to live around. That's, that's all. Not that they're like dangerous or anything, but just, holy shit, man, that spider is like five times bigger minimum than any spider I've seen in real life. Minimum. That's probably not even, it's probably like 20 times. I can't even, I'm trying to think of any spider that's been like very big that I've ever seen around here because we just don't have them. Biggest thing you'll see is like a, a just fat as hell garden spider because that bitch been living good. Black widows are fine. I like black widows just it is what it is, man. If your dumbass gets bit by a poisonous spider, then you're either really unlucky or you did some dumb shit. Like that I, I think I'm okay with poisonous. For me it's for me it's the size thing. It's the impact on my mental. Cause like black widows, black widows, really you gotta do some shit for them to ever bite you. Even though they aren't like dangerous. I feel like I'm gonna die this raid. Maybe not this raid. I feel like first gunfight I get in with a player, I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna potato. I'm not warmed up. Yeah, I know kangaroos are supposed to be super aggressive. But it's, it seems like, generally speaking, it should be pretty easy to avoid the kangaroo, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Ooh, that's some trash. Nice. The toilet paper. And my dad has a story of, um, I'm trying to remember, I think it's like his uncle. Oh, I maybe need this. Actually, I think I can just, I think I'll be able to barter for it or buy it. But, um, my dad has a story of like his uncle is telling like a campfire story as a kid when they were out. And this was either, I'm trying to think, this is like Arizona or Texas out camping and a tarantula straight up just jumped on his hand. That would, fr I, ooh, I would live with that for the rest of my life, man. That would freak me out so much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Elon, that flamethrower he came up with, I bet it was right before a, a um, an Australia trip. You know that thing had a real purpose. He just, he just didn't want to explain it. Oh, that's not where the loot is. Should I really? I shouldn't loot this, man. It can't be worth it. I don't think I need that anymore. It's funny how my brain, because I haven't played Tarkov remotely consistently the past few wipes. I still kind of like latch on to things that used to be good. Like back in the day, there was a barter for Cordura. I guess there might still be. I don't know. That made it crazy valuable. It's probably trash right now. More TP. Oh my God. We don't need it though. It's only been a little bit of shooting so far. I might just agree to like run to crack house and extract and we'll just have a super fast little fly through of a raid. Yeah, I really think I might just do that. See if we get away with it. See if we go unpunished. Oh. Sorry, bud. That doesn't count as first kill. That guy was, holy shit, he was so naked. What are the odds this guy is this naked and has a friend? Oh, I love the cinematic deaths, man. Look at that. Look at that. 
Poor guy. I bet he's actually out of guns and running a pistol. Nice. Nice! Gimme the good loot! Alright. This dude, like, barely loot crack- he came from crack house. Hang on, I'm going focus mode. What the- are you kidding me? That's where I just was. That's so weird. Don't shoot me. Anyone home? Hello? Maybe he just came in with like an empty gamma. It seems like it's all looted. I think we're just dipping. I could go check Big Red. Somebody was running. quick. I mean, now I'm scared. I don't need to be scared. Power through the scared. I feel like he might be ran out here, though. Got him. This thing's so inaccurate, I swear the first shot should have headshot. There could be teammates I should probably watch out for. Might be smart to flank here. Because he was looking that way, he was probably just checking it though. I never heard gunshots. Oh! There's an angle there, okay. I gotta watch out for sniper scab here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna flank around. Don't do it to me, sniper scab. I literally cannot kill him from there. <laughs> Come on, man, chill. Please. Ooh, somebody used a <laughs> somebody stashed a grizzly. <laughs> That's funny, man. But he shot again. Did he shoot at me when I was behind cover? Did he shoot at somebody over here? Oh, wait, did he actually... He actually might have just shot somebody. Not the sniper scam, the guy I killed. Oh, this is feeling... Feeling like a good way to die.
Guy did just effort. Okay. I'm gonna make my way back here. Just effort. Nice. This is going to be a big come up right here. Pretty good gun. This thing's really cool. I don't think it's actually good, but it's it's really cool. <laughs> Looks absolutely sick, man. Oh, he's got kind of a quest shotgun for me. Should I take it? See what's actually important here. This. Boomer looting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's slow. I'm not what I used to be. Oh, we got it. Yoink. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit of a chonkers now. Was it actually a neat little first raid? am I putting those? Whoops. Uh. Maybe I just get rid of the ump. It's insured. Oh my, what? You can get this on customs? Holy, this man's got loot. Okay, don't care. I think this is going to be everything. Do something like that. Don't care about the helmet. Oh. Why am I chugging, man? I feel chuggy. Not like, not like slow, just straight up laggy. Maybe I just, maybe just look laggy because I'm so, so slow. Yeah, let me do a little. We good? Yeah, nice and full. Soundboard of mass phrases. I have in the Discord. There's um, I got the guns right. Yeah, in the Discord there are some quotes from streams, but there's no soundboard. Actually, is it is it in the Discord? I think it's linked to Twitch. I think it's the Twitch. There's quotes, and then that got linked to Discord. I think so, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, memo. Oh, oh, he's got the nine nine five. Let's pretend that this is the guy I killed and not not that I just killed the guy that killed this one. <laughs> I killed a juicer, boys. Look at me. I'm so good.
Okay, I should start running. I am just out here like, please headshot me from across the map. Try and headshot this. You can't. Yeah, that was juice as hell. Four K XP, fifteen minutes. It's just too easy. Eighty meter headshot with the ump. <laughs> Would have headshot for a shot, but but it was an ump, so not so good at doing the eighty meter headshot thing. <clears throat> Why are you mad? Make the list of catchphrases. Why are you mad? Is that something I say? Thoughts on transcendence shock trolling? Transcendence shock. I'm not trolling. Actually, meta. Um. Normally, if you see Chalk, it's very rare. Normally, if you see Chalk in SPL or if you see a pro player playing Chalk solo, normally they will actually go Transcendence. Now, I will say... Actually, okay, never mind. I was going to say... I, I thought you'd word it a different way. I was going to say, just in case, do not only go trans, Like, go a starter item. <laughs> yeah, if it's just first item, like, I think it's literally just the meta. Because Chalk gets so much power scaling in general, and then also that power scaling goes to his heal... And so you effectively make yourself tankier because your heal gets stronger. So it's actually good. And shock somebody where like if you're if you're too tanky, if you don't do enough damage, he's literally just bad. So there's that too. Why am I? I don't know what I'm doing there. I mean, I'm actually, guys. I gotta lower this. I I have too much stuff. I don't want to have to sell it all. I don't have the flea market yet. I should just go back in with all, the, with all this loot and just, just try and lose it. Somebody take it, please. I don't want to have to sell this much. God, this is a sick gun, man. Yeah, I'm a YouTube streamer now. It's official. It's not official. It's not official, but I'm thinking about messing with it. I did a stream yesterday on YouTube. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, it seems like it might just be smarter, man. It's been so long since I've like streamed consistently on Twitch. Obviously, the YouTube channel is way bigger because it's been like five years since I even did Twitch with it, really, like consistently. So, like, maybe just be YouTube streamer for when I stream. Probably, probably smarter. And then I'll put more work in. I'll probably do like an actual overlay at some point soon or something. get some different alerts set up i don't even know how youtube alerts work like what to use for that i guess probably the same services and stuff work okay well i'm getting so absurdly juiced like here's here's a play take your your guns bank your filthy guns bank i kind of want to keep the ammo but i'll like sort it so it's more compact get this garbage out of get this garbage out of here think i need that trash I think the shotgun too. Yeah, do a little little some of that. I think I actually need some of these bandages for med station. It's like super mid max, but I'll hold on to a few. I don't think I need these. I might. I'm scared. I'm hanging on to them. Oh, I need that for hideout. I gotta check the hideout. I bet it's getting leaky already. I don't remember when it starts leaking. All right, uh, probably hang on to those. Should be good. Not all that much money, but it makes some space. Is this the stream for tablet OP? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sure how it translates, honestly. I don't think it's really gear fear exactly, but I'm gonna hold on to this a little bit. Let me sell this stupid Vepper. Get it out of the way. Yeah, 
Like, I could go run the M4. Would be neat. But I feel like maybe... Maybe once I've got a little better idea of what I'm doing, then I run it. God, there's... Oh! There's so much stuff. I do think I'll run this thing back. Which actually might be a little awkward. It's got the Valde on it, which I'm not used to. Do ammo, yes. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so, somebody tell this man how, how to play the game. This man is running some garbage ammo. Oh my god. T ammo? Really? FMJ? What, like, he's level 10? I guess I'm trying. I swear you get. PS ammo pretty quick, don't you? I gotta get it off, like, next quest. Okay. I'm trying... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. That... But this is okay. Ooh. Okay, nice. We're actually pretty sorted. This is a little bit, a little bit messy. That's okay. Another max event video, dude. I. I honestly, I'm not going to lie. So I forgot that I actually did that video. I remember trying to do that video. I did not remember that there actually ended up being a cuckoo video for that. Yeah, that was one of my favorite, like, cheese things. Just because it was so stupid. <laughs> just because just it's so dumb. Oh, crackers! No, we still got, we got 26 more minutes on crackers. So close, we're getting there. Okay, I think this should be good. I might as well bring a couple of these nades. Let's see, can I? Oh, he's already got a, a laser on this thing. Damn, 54 recoil, huh? This thing's actually pretty good. And I can snipe with it a little bit if I want. Do a little. Hmm. Hmm, I might have to do a little little sniping. I don't know. Wait, let me check hideout just in case. I don't think I can craft anything. So it's really dumb. Um, I don't know if we have it right now anyways. We do have it right now. Yeah, this thing happens. It doesn't tell you that it happens. It doesn't matter a ton. I don't know if they nerfed this or if it's like later it gets bad. Like you, you kind of get like these little debuffs. Like I get less XP and stuff, which is annoying. And you're supposed to go look in the hideout and find out. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... Ooh. Nice, get that done. I feel like it's a little too just constantly checking stuff that I probably don't need to check. Just to make sure. I don't think we use this for anything yet. For the gas and I'm trying to remember. I think I have an upcoming. Did I already get? There's no way I got three of these, right? Did I? I kind of feel like I did just turn all these in. I don't know. Either way, I should be able to find them. Okay, I still want to run this scav because he looks sick, but I have way too much stuff in the stash. It's not worth Ooh, 30k, I don't know about, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Deny you the privilege of mopping the floor yourself. <laughs> that would be funny, man. If they had a, uh, what's the game called? Power wash simulator or whatever. If they had something kind of like that where you're just <laughs> you're like actually down there in the hideout doing all these little chores yourself. 
you can have some sort of like hand simulation thing for when you're messing with like uh the the intel center setting up like the server rack you have to set it up yourself <laughs> you need knowledge of actual computers to be able to set it up come on guys i thought this was a realistic game where's the surgery mini game in tarkov I do actually think, I mean, probably not that stuff, but um, there probably is some really good immersion stuff that they can add that they haven't, just because it'd be probably a, a pain in the ass. Like, the big thing I want way back, unless it was, unless they kind of faked it and it wasn't actually going to be in, but I think they just cut it because it was complicated. But, like, one of their super old trailers five or six years ago when the game was in alpha, they were showing basically realistic loot animations. So instead of just doing the little arm out, you just kind of snatch a general area and then the item disappears. You, like, grab that thing and you put it away. And I think that's pretty sick. But it's got to be really hard to actually, like, program that. Without having your character... Like, I think the only way they could do that easily is if they made it similar to, like, the door unlocking animation, and that thing breaks immersion so hard because it gets just super buggy. It's like, let's just move you over five feet real quick <laughs> to open this door <laughs> and lock you in place until the animation's done. You did that for everything you looted. That'd be so triggering. Yeah, I think if I if I ever going to do an announcer pack in the future, that'd be really cool. I would stress about it, though. Oh, I would stress about it so much. I feel like it would it would bog down my mental health for however long I worked on it. Because I'd want it to actually be really good and not cringe. I'd like be going back to different lines day after day. Like, is it cringe today? Is, is it too cringe? <laughs> I think it actually, I think it's so hard to make a voice pack, man. I could be wrong. Especially because uh, the one I use is the Punk Duck voice pack, and it's really hard to beat Punk Duck's voice pack. Because naturally, Punk Duck is going to come up with some absolute bangers. Get my, what? <laughs> what? Top surgery? Yeah, I don't think I ever played RuneScape. Then I can remember. I knew a few people that played it when I was a kid. I guess, I mean, I still know a couple of people that play it now, but I don't think I even ever touched it. Because I think even at the time, it looked old. And to me, games like World of Warcraft and RuneScape, where they're like really old at this point, it's surprising as somebody that didn't play them that people still play them. Like I've played, I've been a smite addict for a long time, but but not WoW level long. That's still crazy to me. Oh, that's right. I try to put this on full auto, but I can't. If only I could open the door over here. Hopefully, I don't struggle with this thing too much close range. It actually seems like it's pretty good. I know in the past when I've messed with this scope. Um, a lot of the time it would be on guns that had low ergo. So you'd get this. It's kind of got this scope shadow effect. And if the ergo is too low, you really deal with it a lot more. I don't think it matters too much for this. Oh, whoops. I don't know. There's like loot in here. I don't remember which things have it. What the this? The cup. Big cup loot.
He's popping off somewhere. Can run it on a potato. Yeah, we see it. Um, is it Venezuela? Where there's a ton of um, gold farmers in Venezuela, or at least there was, because it was actually like a worth thing to do for money. That's crazy, man. Video games, really? Maybe not even video games. You know what? Economic differences have gone too far. Somebody looted this. Hey, who looted this? Nothing, really? Nothing big? I'm gonna go move around a little bit. The hell? Okay, never mind. Oh, there's loot here. I thought I heard something behind me. They might have been through the uh, through the wall though, and it might have been nothing. I don't know. I swear I'm hearing something over there. Hello. Tripping, man. I think I'm tripping. I do want to see if I can go shoot this guy, though. Really feel like doing some shooting today. Where's the Vlanen? Huh. I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to run up too far because I don't want to get shot by the guy that was shooting there. It's kind of a ratty part of the map, so I'm trying to play it a little bit smart. I thought the shots were through the wall here. No door? God, should I rat in here? What are the odds somebody comes and opens this for me? Scav. It's not a scav. <laughs> Man down.
Where did he go? Oh, I want to rat on him. Oh my god, that doesn't kill him? Wow. Weird as hell that he saw me there, man. I have no clue why he knew I was there. That sucks. Like, did not... <laughs> did not make noise, was actively getting shot at by Scav. Literally just killed a Scav there, so he should think it's safe. Oh, that's weird. God, I didn't pay attention to what damage I did to him. How, how did that not kill him, man? Looked like those shots were onto me. And sucks. So I got like pincered into the wall there. It was like a little baby angle. Yeah, no, it's what sucks about the um the stupid wiggle video, man. Like that's absolutely plausible that he's just a normal person. He just happened to see me. But like whenever you peek angles like that, and it's weird that they happen to it like to be looking there. You know? Because, like, whenever I was peeking on him, he was running into cover there. Like, but it but it also just, like, happens to be coincidence. I don't know. It just sucks. You never know anymore. Kind of want to run this thing, but I don't think I have ammo for it. I have potato ammo for it. Yeah, I'll probably wait until I get Peacekeeper for that, or I'll just sell it. Alright, let me run back this thing, I think. Because I do have ammo for it. Pretty sure, I think the Arc PK is just bad right now, right? 200 horizontal. I mean, hypothetically, it seems like it's better. I swear the Arc PK just bounces around side to side like crazy. So I don't think I'm going to run it. I could run the Pilgrim. It's probably just not even worth it. My strength is so low, it's so hard to carry all the stuff that can fit in that. Yeah, MA55 is not bad, but I can't buy it. So, I gotta unlock, I think, Peacekeeper level 2 for that. Let's see. Do I not have... There we go. Alright, this should do it. Maybe eat up a little bit, just in case. Oh, I can probably buy... Can I buy stuff from Therapist yet? Nine minutes. Maybe I do a scav, man. Because then I can uh, I can buy the key. What the hell? I broke the game. If I if I wait this, she'll, she'll reset. I'll be able to buy more crackers. Unless I can just barter. I could just barter. Let me do that. And then I could have run it last raid. Give me that. Watch, I'm definitely now going to find this key within like two raids. <laughs> that's that's how it works. Every time. See, I probably don't need to be bringing this. All 
All right, potato gun. Let's go. Yeah, I'm really curious how many I could totally see that being a thing right now that there's that there's maybe a bunch of people going around trying to anti cheat, trying to trying to just see like, all right, who's a cheater and then and then hunt them. But I'm also scared for how they're going to confirm that, because like for me right now, although given that just changed after last raid, but like before last raid, I had a KD of like 25 because I'd only died once so far. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm cheating. Like, <laughs> it basically just means that I'm living. And so, like, if they're, if they're like, oh, this guy's got a 20 KD, I'm just going to go, go rage hack on him because he has to be cheating. Then, then that would be dumb as hell. And that would suck. That definitely hasn't happened so far, though. Oh, you bought an 800k key for a quest? Yeah, that blows. I know normally, unless it's super early wipe and just nobody's doing it yet, a lot of those keys are going to be quest key plus loot key. Um, or well, it'll either be a quest key where people are going to open it somewhat often, or it'll be quest plus loot where they might just open to loot it. And a lot of time it's just not worth it. And you just keep going raids and hope somebody opens it. Because I've done that a lot in the past and normally it ends up just not even being worth buying that key unless I'm going to use it anyways. And it's just genuinely getting sold for that much. True, true. Maybe, maybe having a high KD means they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> I gotta stay away from this guy. He's a psycho. <laughs> Level 7, 20 KD. Are you kidding me? This guy just got banned because he's been rage hacking. This is his new account. I gotta, I gotta get out of this raid. You know what? Maybe, maybe that's huge. Maybe I really gotta preserve that KD. Maybe it'll make my game experience better. Yeah, it's funny, man. If it wasn't my second raid yesterday when I ran into the guy cheat that was doing the uh, the cheating or whatever, I wonder if he would have just shot me. Because I definitely was, like, brand new, no real stats yet. Like, I'm not going to look sus unless he just thinks it's a fresh account cheater or something, which is kind of a bold thing to assume. But now, but now, maybe he's like, oh, this guy can't be legit. I remember back when I was um when I was playing a lot a few wipes ago. I'm trying to remember. I was I was a pretty like I mean if it's not obvious, I was pretty ratty. A lot of the time more recently when I played, I've been less ratty and I think that's less fun. So I'm trying to rat more. I'm like consciously trying to at least at least when I'm given opportunities to actually do some rat and not just sprint at people and abuse desync, like the cringe meta of this game that it is. Did I bring the key? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I realized I might not have been paying attention and not brought it. Um, but I remember multiple times getting accused of cheating of like wall hacking just because sound is so OP in this game, or at least it was when it worked well. And I would just sound horror and people would be like creep walking and they'd think it's silent, but it's not silent. I can hear that shit from like 50 feet away. And uh, yeah, I'd get like rage DMs after. Nice hacks. That's so funny. I really hope at some point, I think I can use this key. I think this is the one that opens, not the safe room, but the room across from it down here. Has some more, has some more jackets. Maybe I'll get its own key in one of those jackets. Oh, this is a good one. I need this for a quest right now too. Um, yeah, I can literally just go down and use that if I want. I think I'll wait for now though. I don't remember what I was saying. Whatever. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. I really hope um, if they're able to get cheating under control at all, which I was seeing some stuff. I, I don't know tech. 
It seemed like there were some basic changes that at least could temporarily really dumpster a lot of the cheats right now. Some just basic, like, uh, security enforcements. Um, if they're able to do that and that does have a big impact, it'd be interesting to see them try and undo the found and raid shit for... for flea market. And maybe they shouldn't, but I actually really... I think having flea market and leaving it up to the players what stuff is worth what, I think that's actually really good. For quest, I think found and raid is actually really good though, because I think just buying stuff to, for your quest is lame as hell. But... But I think, um... Being able to buy, like, slicks on flea and... Oh, I need that. I think that's actually a really good thing to have. Unlock flea, buy meta kits if you're rich enough. Norm normally you're not, so it's not like you're just doing that. You just can. It's just possible. And especially, I really miss, man, before the weight system and before the found and raid stuff, and as, well, as I was getting good at the game and my, my first wipe, I would, like, occasionally 1v5 wipe five mans. And it was so satisfying to just make millions selling their stuff. You could just bank selling that stuff. Somebody made a bush noise. That was laggy as hell. I like stopped shooting because he should have been dead and then he fell over after. Because I did unload into his face, so. Like normally that gets it done. But yeah, I need to toss. The hell am I hearing? <laughs> what? Audio, please? Huh? <laughs> what? Hey! What? That's a PMC, man. I feel like somebody could come. I thought I'd heard someone outside, so. If it's not just a scav Roman. I camp this a little bit. If somebody peeks this and I get no audio, I'm going to be so mad. It's funny, my brain really, it really went to work there. It's like, wait, nobody did open the door down here, but why did it sound like they opened it down here? Also, why did he play it like that? Unless his auto audio is unbelievably scuffed. What? Like, I literally just shot a scam downstairs. Like, he had to have heard that. I'll leave this a little bit smart. There's jackets here! Good to know. <laughs> That's good to know. Should I swap these? It's probably not worth... I don't know. Should I? I get so much more space. I probably should. Hang on, hang on. We're going to insurance fraud this. I'm going to shut the door after. I think I'm going to leave these down here because these are the these should be bad mags compared to what he has.
All right. Ooh. Eagle Nick, huh? I think the suppressor sucks, though. Three quill on this. 58? Eh. Like, it's definitely, it's better than what I have, but... God, this is... <laughs> It's so close to my face, man. That is a chonker of a sight right there. Oh, put it in the wallet? God, should I quick extract? Why would I? I'm not even heavy. Never mind. Sorry. Getting too rat. Getting too rat. My bad. My bad. Who's down here? I don't think there's actually anybody down here. Do I actually have a quest here right now? I don't think I do yet. And if I did, there'd be a case here, so. No more smite, it's over. I uninstalled. The game sucks. No. I didn't. I like Smite. Uh, that? But I don't know if I don't know if I'm very likely to stream Smite though. Streaming Smite's kind of boring to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Literally uploaded yesterday. Yesterday streamed and uploaded. Had had a big day. Do I greed loot three story? I have the save key. I think I do, man. I did, uh, I did loot that one key I can use right now down here on the other side, but I don't think I care enough to do that. It's a little bit awkward to get there because I got to go like outside wrap around. Actually popping off a little bit over there. I think like sniper scav shooting, they're PvPing, I think. Like they got some stuff going down. I do wonder whether or not it's coincidence, but I feel like the little bit I've been playing Tarkov so far, I've been playing it slower than I tend to more recently. It's been going better. Like normally playing it faster, close quarters, slower, long range. It didn't shoot. Oh my god, that was so bad. It just did not shoot. <laughs> there goes a little bit of Eagle Nick. <laughs> what you got for me, Scave? Oh, is this the one I need? I need an army cat, man. There's too many. I need a specific kind. I already have that key. Hello? Okay, hang on, hang on. This? This. There we go. Don't need that. Oh, I already looked in the wallet. Yeah. Like, I can take the, uh, the car extract if I want to. Which I really don't particularly have loot other than the kill. So, I don't know if that's worth much. Because I'm probably just going to run this guy's loadout either way. God, it looks so washed out in here right now. 
I do think I have my sharpness literally at zero, though. Partially because, as far as I know, having a low sharpness is way better for streaming and recording. At least streaming. And honestly, it's kind of cool when it's washed out. It's a little, little spookier, a little darker. Yeah, there's definitely not a ton of fighting in dorms. Not like there used to be. That is one thing that's sort of good in the, the way the game's changed. Like, sort of good, sort of bad. Um, you used to be able to play for PvP a lot. If you were a good PvP player, at the very least you could break even and basically just loot your kills. And that's actually really cool um, and really fun. But it's also a little bit stupid sometimes because the map would play too much around PvP hotspots and they're like hotspots just because of PvP. Okay, now I do have a little bit of loot. Car Extract's not here anyways, though. So I think we're going to run over to Big Red, try and get quest done. Earlier in the wipe, the little bit I did play, I think this is probably what stopped me from playing. I got aimbotted on it so fucking hard, like right over here. I'm trying to remember, it was something absurd, man. I got beamed by a stock AK with like PS rounds and a however many shots it takes to one leg with none missing. From like 80 plus meters. <laughs> It's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Phys physically impossible to do it legit. All right, nice. That was forever ago, though. That was like, that was around the way. Actually, when was the wipe? The wipe was like a little after Christmas, right? Wasn't it early January, I think? So it's been like two months. And I think that's a lot of stuff that people like, um, people like me at least were less aware of where, like, we noticed the rage hack shit where it's like, this literally has to be cheating. You physically can't do this. Um, or like, go labs, get the, the classic, anybody that's played it, like the classic sprint headshot, or it's not sprint headshot, that's just, that's just Tarkov, but <laughs> sprint, the sprint jump headshot around corner. The, like you see them floating in the air for a little microsecond that you can't react to and then you're just dead and it's just specifically a cheat like there is that shit and it's like all right that's a cheater so now it's like yeah that's actually almost none of the cheats are <laughs> the stuff that seem like cheats <laughs> it's actually a bunch of people wall hacking and just doing it low key like oh my god man there's no escape Anyone here? Yeah, I got the dirtiest kill earlier this wipe from here. I spawned, I didn't even know this gun existed. The little one shot, like, Mosin, where you just put a single, a single bullet in it. I killed an absolutely juice Chad from here. It just have. I was literally just looting this as a scavenge, spawned in with it, and I just happened to dink him in the head. And then his entire, like, three, four man party just bum rushed me. <laughs> But I took him down. Can't remember. I think I have 203. You need it for a quest at some point. I don't remember which quest it is. VoIP interactions today. I guess, I mean, literally the scav run had, and that wasn't a good one. That was just, he VoIPed. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't much of an interaction. Are you fucking kidding? Really? Really? After I got all that food? 
This game sucks. This game is so bad. Work hard to get this key. They already have the key. God damn it, man. Voip, like, uh, like voice chat. Yeah, when I say vo when I say VoIP, I mean voice chat interactions, because VoIP is like the uh, what do you call it? Acronym, right? Yeah, the acronym for it. I don't I don't know what the actual I don't know what the actual full full name is, but like VoIP. I hope when Dark and Darker comes back, people use VoIP more, because they don't very much, but it's so fun when they do. Dark and Darker is such a stupid game for VoIP. It's so funny. Especially on Rogue and Barbarian, it's so good. Because Barbarian's like the big meaty Chad. Oh shit, this boy's coming. And then, and then Rogue's the little, <laughs> the little snicker from behind him. <laughs> Give him a little cackle. Kill their teammate and cackle as you run away. Wait, they took damage? Is that from... Is that from grinding my body through the barbed wire in that one room? It's decent loot? Yeah, I'm just assuming if they opened it, they looted it. I really doubt they're on the same quest I had. Since it's so late in the wipe. I didn't even check stuff, I just figured they looted. I mean, honestly, even if they... <laughs> even if they were there for quests, it was dumb as hell if they didn't loot it. Yeah, it is, it is nice to have the key, but I, normally I find this, it's just not, I normally just don't find it right away. Oh, yeah, actually, I do want to be bringing these whenever we go customs, although right now we're not, so. Actually got some pretty good loot, man. I got a lot of, um, like, valuable stuff. Well, let me get 104. Alright, so I gotta try and plant this. I think I'm gonna bring my big boy gun back. I might want to hold on to the wallet, actually. That might be smart, trying to actually put money in it. Since I'm still just a noob. It's the best thing I got. I already got a 203 key. Let's see. Wait, it keeps his tag on? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> He 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 got like a mishmash in here. Let me get that good ammo. Oh wait, and then there's more BS. Oh god. Oh god, the math. Oh no. Five? And then, and then, and then. Should be right. Do this. Got PS if I really need it. Okay. I got the quest item. I gotta go factory. I gotta dip real fast. Oh, I need to... Where did it... I had to have splints and I like threw them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Alright, please don't murder me. Just, just let me get it done. Let me plunk that bad boy down at least. I'm not gonna ensure stuff, it's factory. It's this quest, yeah. At least this quest is not as bad as some of them for placing. It used to be the worst. I really hope they change that, man. Come on, it does not... Like this one, they toned down to like 10 seconds. This one I think is reasonable. Yeah, 10 seconds, you plant it, you're good. There's still uh there's still multiple quests though where it's like place this thing for 30 seconds and then place this other thing for 30 seconds and you're just out in the open placing something in place for at least a minute. It's just it does not take that long. Come on. But this one I'm pretty sure is 10 now. 
Love the wall of bullets. <laughs> Thanks, man. I worked hard on it. The toolkits? The toolkits are more annoying. The one I hate is, um... There's a later game quest where you have to go down to the dock? That's what you'd call it, right? You know, the dock or the pier at Woods, and you place things in that. They might have made that one easier, but it's still, like, it's so out in the open, it's so exposed. And you have to place, like, five things in it. So that one takes at least one minute, from what I can remember. And then there's the shoreline one, too, where you gotta go run down to a fairly active sniper part of shoreline and try and place things in a boat for a minute. And that's also pain. But this one sucks because if I if I die, I have to go get the thing again. So it's like a two part quest. You boys ready for that factory life? Ooh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready for some TDM. This game sounds kind of sadistic. This game is one of the more sadistic games you can play. Similar to Rust. Similar, like I haven't played Rust, but similar to Rust. Oh, I got that. Who wants some? Huh? Fuck off, Scab. I got business. Place. survive damn it man oh hello please man i'm just here for quest oh I'm just, I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to live. Uh, I had to place the thing in the room over here and now I'm just trying to like survive. No, no, no. The, uh, the factor, the, I don't know what you call it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can I trust them? Hmm. What? Oh, God. Granada. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't think I can live right now is the thing, but I'm kind of scared because it sounds like there's boys. I think I'm just gonna dip. If I if I don't extract, I don't extract. Or like uh survive. I don't need survived? I think I do. Just A raid? Oh. Oh, I survived. I had like seven XP enough. <laughs> Did they change that? I swear it maybe it varies quest to quest. I swear at least some of them you have to survive on the map. What if I never survive another raid, though? <laughs> what if I never get it done? What? What did I do for you? Oh, nice. This dude really hooked me up, like, with cigarettes. Like, I can even smoke him. Really do. We really do need the cigarette mechanic. Oh, now I do need to craft gas hands or, or find them. See if I can just craft them or not. Actually, I need generator for that, don't I? Bing? Oh, wait. 
Oh wait. Oh, never mind. I thought I was about to be able to make generator. 17 hours? Yeah, I think I'll find one. I think I'll be okay. All right. Um. Wait, what do I have to do now? I gotta mark stuff. Need another gas in. I gotta mark stuff. I still need to find the stupid Iskras for Jaeger, but whatever. It'll happen when it happens. I don't think there's really a great way to do it right now. I still need the stupid Taz. This is just a daily, right? I don't have him unlocked yet. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The future. Let's see what goes hard. Okay. No. Okay, okay. This I can already get if I want it. That's gonna take a bit. Okay. And this is meh, so I don't I don't need this yet. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, do a little. This is a rat loadout right here. Oh shit, rock the <laughs> They call <laughs> They call this the colorblind. <laughs> oh my god, this is disgusting. It's so gross. I kind of want to run this. I want to look stinky. Surely they get thrown by just how ugly it is. Ooh, this could... Eh. I don't think I've ever leveled up a bear before. I should really make sure that I commit. As long as I'm not feeling the cheater epidemic, then I should just commit and level this bit. This actually, this looks pretty clean. Not like cool, but clean. I'm never going to get it. Okay. <laughs> Why is this the top thing? This thing's lame as hell. Who's excited for this? What level is Black Links? 40. I think there's, um... Does Yusek just, just has better clothes, don't they? I kind of fucked up. Yusek has... I feel like they're equivalent to this, although I think it's high level. I think it's like this thing. Is the, the Urban Responder, like actual streetwear outfit and that thing that's kind of dirty that thing looks absolutely sick i should i messed up man why would i want to be a bear by the way if anybody remembers this guy i think was already to rage dm me and he either hasn't hopped back on since um or or he got thrown off by the king by the like inherent compliment and me saying what's up king and then and then he just got over it just wanted to play on hard mode so i will say because i think usac also has better black clothing i think now i gotta look back at this but when i was an absolute interchange rat i ran something similar to the hell this is this is the darkest pants okay this Bear sucks. Bear's bad. They're like black pants and some sort of black shirt that I think covers your arms. I don't remember for sure. And I tried to go with like clothes you couldn't see on interchange. That level of rat. Like tactically going all black kit to blend into the shadows. You've never seen ratting this hard. That was a menace. I couldn't tell if it actually did much. but <laughs> But I like to think that it did a lot. All right, uh, let me actually bring the markers. I love that they added this, man. I can't remember, did they add this this wipe or last wipe? But the special slots, oh, such a great addition. Bring some safe keys, 114, uh, 214. Because it's so annoying losing these things and like having to try and put them in your container or whatever. All right, we should be good. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Is it even worth ensuring the U-Lock? Who doesn't loot U-Locks? I'm assuming most people do. 
But it's a good helmet. I don't know, whatever. I'll, I'll insure it. Actually, I'm not going to fuck this rig. I hate this rig. <laughs> I'm not insuring that. I'll run it because it's better than what I have, but that thing is huge. I don't need that sitting in my stash. I played a little bit this wipe, but I reset my account. Yeah, I had played to, I think, level 17 this wipe. So, so not, not far at all. And I reset. Yeah, who needs insurance? Not this guy who who runs it every raid because garbage. <laughs> I want my garbage back, please. <laughs> Don't make me buy new garbage. So is it just like terrible to run anything other than streets and customs? This wipe? I've, I've heard through the subreddit that Shoreline sounds terrible to play right now. And that doesn't surprise me because it's been a while, but like whenever I've rushed, um, whenever I've like bum rushed wipe and tried to, to level up really fast, getting to the Shoreline quest, it was like, it was always obvious. It's like, oh, found cheaters. Like not even just people playing well, just like doing just, just blatant shit. So, so maybe that's different, but like, it kind of makes sense that there'd be a lot of people on Shoreline. Especially, I think nowadays that's, like, one of the only places to get Lead X, right? Without having the craft unlocked, because it sounded like... I haven't gotten to experience it, but it sounds like you need Lightkeeper for Lead X craft. You have to you have to loot it. And I'm pretty sure Interchange Ultra Med is hard nerfed, because I know they hard nerfed it back when I still played Interchange. And then, pretty sure you can't get them out of med bags, or it's really rare. Never listen to Reddit? Hmm. I don't know about that. Lighthouse? Lighthouse makes sense. Lighthouse, yeah. Lighthouse is a weird one, though. Lighthouse, the bit I've played, it she feels like Lighthouse is a map that'd just be painful to play because it's one of the biggest maps for just like, oh, I died from nowhere is what it seems like, because there's some just incredible sniper spots there. But it also just makes sense that people would cheat on Lighthouse because it still has crazy loot. Yeah, the Reddit's weird, man. The Reddit, like, sometimes, sometimes really stupid shit gets upvoted, and sometimes really accurate stuff gets upvoted. Reserve... Everything I've heard about Reserve makes it sound like even if you buy the keys, it still sucks. Maybe that's just bias from everybody like me that when we started playing, Reserve had just came up, come out and it was just absurdly broken as a map. It was just loot paradise. Which I think Streets kind of is right now, but it like... <laughs> I don't know. It probably doesn't compare, man. Reserve was wild. Reserve was like you could run into no players... I don't know, like if you put like six people on reserve and they all just looted a corner, they'd come out with like easily over a mil and they just never fought. If you if you hypothetically did that. Reserve was broken as hell when it came out. But I don't know, maybe the keys are still good. I don't know. I know it has way less open loot, which is a lot of what it used to have. And like that's just nerfed across all of Tarkov. Which I still think was a stupid change. I'm also pretty sure that was supposed to be based on like a community suggestion, but I don't think they understood what the community suggestion was unless I didn't understand it. Because it seemed like people wanted loot spread out more. So they're like, we're just going to put it all in containers because containers are everywhere. <laughs> and I don't think that's what anybody meant. I don't think anybody's like, fuck yeah. Ooh, I love opening jackets and pulling the item out of the jacket. Oh! Anybody want a waffle? Hmm? I gotta put that in my ass. 
Oh, that's a sick tease. I need a Taz that gives me a Taz mag. Ooh. What if I get thirsty? Good old... Okay, so that, that explains it. I was like, how did this guy get this god loot on this map? I didn't know you could get this on this map. I guess it just spawns in duffel bags now. <laughs> this used to be reserve loot. This used to be one of those reserve items where it's like, nice, I sure did play reserve this raid and you just casually get all these like 100k two slots. Okay, I'm not looting these. They're like the most dangerous filing cabinets to loot and it's not that worth it. Please don't snipe me from the other side. Yoink. A bandage. Uh, okay. I also forgot to loot something. I'm gonna go loot that. Who's down here? Who's got no audio? I don't think there's anybody down here. Wait, that's not. Hang on. This. This is what I forgot to loot. I didn't know this existed for so long, man. I found out this wipe. I did not know this was a thing. Oh, actually, I might have known this is a thing and just not cared because they used to be bad, but there's like, sometimes you get like gold spawns here, which are actually good. Right, I'm going to chill for a sec, I think. Would I play Elden Ring? I don't think I would stream Elden Ring because I wouldn't want to look that bad because I've never really played those types of games. <laughs> I'm not even trolling, like, it would actually embarrass me. Um... I would play it just because I actually like I've installed it. I played a tiny bit. I tried to beat the the horse guy that you like kind of spawn into when you get out when you get out of whatever you start in like that guy early on. Tried to beat him with no gear. I'm trying to remember how low I got him. I guy's getting him to like half or a third, but it wasn't working. I was just like, fuck it. Um, and then I did like some little mini bosses and I just kind of left it be and I stopped playing. I don't think I was really bored. I think I just kind of was distracted with other stuff. So I might play it. I don't know what the odds are that I'd stream it. Okay, I do need these. Pretty sure I have painkillers in the stash. Not what I wanted. This. Oh! <laughs> this. There we go. Give them plenty of time to shoot me. As we do a little terrible loot sorting. that sometimes indoor shots throw me so off because I can tell it's indoors I can tell where it's at but it's also like this doesn't make sense where could this possibly be I think it was super far I think it was like big red behind me or some shit hello any friendlies I gotta stop voiping <laughs> I gotta stop voiping when I don't know anything, man. I gotta voip when I know that I'm like, that I can hear them. I gotta stop being like, hello, there's a person here. Just know that you're about to get into some PvP. Oh, I played a little bit of Sekiro and I got triggered. Cause the game looked absolutely sick and it is sick. I couldn't handle Sekiro, man. I haven't played... I had, I had played like a tiny bit of Dark Souls 2, I think, as a kid. Like my dad had gotten the game, I'd played a little bit. I think I'd done like the first three, four bosses probably. And then that was it. And I was like, Sekiro looks cool. <laughs> and to be fair, I don't remember... Am I hearing something? Um... I don't remember if there's difficulty options for Sekiro, so maybe I could have lowered difficulty. And maybe that's a stupid thing to say. Maybe none of the Dark Souls games ever have that. 
but I really don't play him, so I don't know. Did I loot this one? Yeah. Dude, I got ratted on in the beginning of this wipe. Somebody was here and I came down the stairs. I was so mad. They were just right here and I just like fell down and they just shot me in the bank. Talk about rat. I know the spot. You think I don't know the spot? Yeah, there's a lot of alley splints. Ooh, I think I need these. I don't think it's worth throwing in my, uh, my gamma, though. I've got some loot. Not a ton. I think I'll probably just try and do some of the uh the marks and just extract pretty quick. Not be too greedy. I wanna keep like while it's early wipe, I wanna keep not being too greedy if I can avoid it. Cause those raids where you slowly build up a ton of stuff, but then you die because you stay in it so long, those are the ones that hurt. Three fifteen. Actually, there's so many dorm keys that I don't even know where they go. They like technically exist, but they're not part of a quest, or at least they're not currently part of a quest. And they don't have good loot, so I just don't care that they're there. Ooh, such a shame you can't upgrade, man. Imagine if you could upgrade your watch to this. By the way, I'm pretty sure this dumbass has his watch on the other way right now. Actually, is that smart? Is that like, hang on. Is that big brain? Is it smarter to show like forearm or like front of the forearm than back? Maybe that's some tactical stuff that I haven't thought of. Oh, yoink. Dip. Don't shoot me, misters, please. Oh God. All right, let's see if old gas is open. Ah! My eagle Nick. <laughs> should I, should I switch to the potato mag? Oh, 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 I hit the fence. Shut up. Where are they? Where are they? What's up, Nate? Always Naden. Okay, whatever. It's a good thing I'm not PVPing right now with this aim. Probably all of them. Huh! All right, let me go mark thing. Let me go bait somebody to come over and shoot me because they heard all those shots. Scared me, I saw. I guess I went through my eagle nick. Oh wait, this is a BS mag to begin with, isn't it? Um, but I went through my, uh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I thought I swapped mags and I thought I dumped my good mag on the ground and then I'd have to go find it. This is a hell of a rat angle right here. You like this? Anyone comes peeking? Uh-uh. What are the odds that they're looking at this little ang? All right. Do I greed for scav loot? I think I do, man. Cause it's actually good now, as far as I can tell. 
Yep, not bad. Get rid of the trash. Oh, I can min-max a little. Uh, I'm gonna keep that out. Boom. Any Taz? I still need the stupid Taz. Where's, where's the other one? Give me the Taz, please. Uh oh. Any rats? Hmm? I think we're good. What else we got over here? I actually need these. Blind, aren't I? Oh, I'm not. I'm not liking that. Suscav. I go this way. <laughs> you guys ever do that? Am I just? Am I just a little bitch? I do that a lot, man. Whenever I get that like scav calling out, at least assume he like it sounds like he's aggroed on me, and I can't spot him, and he's far and he's blending. I just uh, uh. This is not how I die today. Tell me this is open, man. I don't have to run that far. Oh my god. I'll do a little looting, though. Yeah, I mean, I do think... I think it's a good way to play it. Like, every once in a while, you get a little too much of an ego with the scavs in a wipe. Especially depending on how cracked they are, that wipe. Then you'll just start getting spots where it's like, it's a scav, he's not gonna headshot me. Headshot. Next rate, headshot. I'm gonna get sniped from the hill. Look at this beautiful scenery. Oh. Oh. I could have gone and marked new gas if I wanted there. Maybe I should have. I, I, dude. Oh. The hell was th What? No, no way this is scab boss. That was a weird, that was a weird voice comm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. My brain took a little too long to put that together. <laughs> I, I am hoping that if he was facing me and it wasn't just round little head, if I got to see those beady little scab eyes, that I wouldn't have been so slow. Oh my god. I don't think it's actually scab boss. 
it's kind of cool if it is. Um, at least in the past it hasn't spawned here, but maybe they spawn here now. Scared me a little, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did see they upped Rashala's spawn rate, which is the boss. So, maybe they actually... Changed his spawns too? Would be interesting. Rashala's a cool boss, man. I actually like Rashala. He's hard early wipe. He's not very hard late wipe. At least when you're when you're used to him. Like feels like a like a pretty well balanced boss. Nice, we actually got pretty good loot this raid. actually hide in those can you I check them sometimes just in case like I'm pretty sure you can't even do it your arms would stick out or something last thing I need to do is encourage more extract campers though nice not too bad not too bad just some scav kills got a marker down Yeah, I've been good. I was actually really excited um, last night to stream today. I'd been tempted to do a second stream yesterday. Yeah, I'd been tempted to do a morning Tarkov stream and to record and to upload and to bonus Tarkov stream. But I ended up being kind of tired by the end of the night and I'm trying to get like a certain sleep schedule right now. No, so, so I was all excited to stream today, but then I was tired as hell when I woke up today. But it's fun, man. I'm actually really enjoying Tarkov right now. I really am. Okay, this is going to get flea marketed or used eventually. Hang on. I don't know what it is. I hate that trash tier, trash tier guns filling up some of my stash. It bugs me. I got to instantly get rid of that. I'm getting rid of this one too. Where'd you go? Get out. All right, I probably got to sell stuff again. So I'm assuming this is about to fill up the stash. Yep, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna fill it up. Oh, we're getting there. Yeah, I'll put these back. This, oh, I do need a IFAC or something. How should I do this? What, where did you go? What? What? What the hell? My ammo. Oh, I'm blind. Oh. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I thought I went into the stash, man. All right, all right. Sorting the mags. Should I put Igolnik on top? Probably not. I don't think Igolnik's actually as good as BS. I think BS is just better. That, that, this. Nice. All right. Uh, don't even have room for this. Wow. Okay, let me sell off a billion car med kits. Hold up. The grizzly out of here. God, I have so many of these things. I'm assuming I don't need a flea market those. I don't know what they're worth right now. Uh, this painkiller. I have none. I haven't found morphine. Okay. I 
Yeah, I have a good one, man. Scav junk box? Yeah, I'll probably get one somewhat soon. I definitely... I I don't feel like spending legit like all of my money on it yet, though. All right, see, so can we actually make anything yet? I think I have all this stuff for med station, but I don't know if it lets me make it without the generator. I don't remember. Because I think I need the generator to run it. Oh, no, I don't have... Oh, no! Done. Requirement's not fulfilled. Oh, wait, can I run this? It seems like I don't care about running this, though. I just kind of have it made now. Okay, so heating needs some matches. I need the construction tape for security so I can build the generator. I'm pretty sure I have the, the spark plug I need for generator, though. Yeah. I just, I'm pretty sure I still legit have just not even found measuring tape, I don't think. Or if I did, I died. Okay, I don't care about non-founded raid morphine. I just get rid of this stuff. Alright, I'm gonna try and I wanna try and actually rank people up if I can. Be a little bit smart with my money. I don't need squash anymore, right? I don't think I do. Oh, I should run that. This is what I should be doing. I should try and get rid of these awkward backpacks. That's taking up so much space. I snipe it off fence? That might be smart. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about using fence for any of this stuff. I don't think I need these rigs, right? I guess I'll sell these instead. Damn, I am banking right now. We're about to hit two mil at level nine. Yeah, I think I need this sewing kit, right? Oh, wait, actually, I don't need the sewing kit, do I? I need the all. Is that, is that how you say this? I don't know what the hell this thing is. Oh wait, I actually need that. Alright, uh, pretty sure I need these at some point soon. Eventually I need this for quest. I think I might save it, because sometimes it's a pain in the ass to get this for the quest. God, these things sell for so much. Nice. It's really good to be able to actually level up Peacekeeper a bit, too. Because I'm just going to have to spend a ton of money on him soon. Banking. All right, let me see if I can do... And how am I going to do this? That, this, this, this. All right.
Yeah, and as long as I can just get him for, for flea, that'll be whatever. I guess I'll check fence. Might be a pain <laughs> trying to see what I need on fence with all this stuff not examined yet. I was seeing that they're talking about doing... um. It sounded like removing just straight up examining in general. And that'll be such a good change, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I actually need here. This is just going to be like flash drive. SSD. Yeah. There's like nothing on here right now. This is a pretty empty fence. Wait. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought this was. Damn it, man. I thought this was with the. Uh, what do you call it? The 2x scope. That was actually going to be a steal of a deal right there. About to yoink that thing. Alright, so I gotta mark stuff. And that's literally still it. I, st I still need a Taz. I still need to find food. That's, that's still all there is. <laughs> that sucks. But at least I can go in knowing that I'm rich. Yeah, I like, um... I do like the surprise for some examining things, but I think a lot of stuff like gun parts um, can be really annoying. Especially like gun modding. Like you have to go examine all these gun parts to be able to find good gun builds, and that can be really annoying. Like normally when I'm playing the game seriously, when I get flea market unlocked, maybe not super early wipe because there's not stuff, but like later in the wipe, and I have flea market unlocked, I am examining every gun part I can find so that I can go mess around with it in the presets. And like, that's a super lame thing to just go filtering through item after item in flea market and stuff. I do think examining in raid is kind of cool, though. Um, Especially, like, keys. Keys are always a fun one, where it's like, which key is this? So, so I think if they wanted to try and do that with some things, that could be good. And just leave it, leave it alone for a lot of other stuff. Especially, like, um... The example I saw somebody bring up is, <laughs> is something like you're telling my you're telling me my PMC knows what a light bulb is. You're telling me I don't have to inspect this light bulb. So there's stuff like that too, where it's like, oh my god, come on. I'm literally I am looking at the silhouette and I can tell. So yeah, I think mostly mostly keys I think would be fun to keep unexamined potentially. Especially because a lot of keys straight up do have, like, just very similar models. So it's like, oh, what am I going to get? Yeah, so much examining. I don't know if Tarkov is just quieter in general, or if it's because it's like fairly early in the morning, but I've been liking the kind of more chill raids where there definitely is people around and you can run into them, but it doesn't just feel like a clusterfuck. Because sometimes it gets annoying, especially when you're when you're like trying to level up. Like later in the wiping can be really fun, but when you're trying to level up, sometimes there's just too much action going on on maps like customs. Other maps, not so much. Other maps can get boring as hell, but I feel like customs, sometimes there's just too many people sprinting around for pvp it's nice having it be a lot more like surprising to run into players i was seeing i don't think it works because i'm pretty sure uh I don't know, unless it just significantly changed. I was seeing, supposedly either they're going to or they already did push through so that player scavs can't like insta spawn. That'll be a great change. Because I'm assuming Streets has kept that to some degree, but I know the beginning of this wipe when Streets was unplayable because of the server issues, <laughs> people, player scavs would be spawning in like the moment PMCs are spawning in and then they would lag balls for a couple minutes and run at people <laughs> or go loot up. That'll be a good change for the game. I know I used to, uh, when I used to play Interchange a lot, that was always something that would trigger me, especially those early Interchange quests. It's like I spawned in, 
I ran into the mall. There's already a player scam in the mall. Like, you've got to be... This man really spawned in one minute into the raid already inside. Oh my god, let me in. Who's got the toaster? Maybe I can figure it out in raid and I can hunt him down. How are things? Things are good. Um, Been having fun playing Tarkov the past couple days. Smite's been triggering me a little bit, but... That's been true since Season 10 came out. Hyra's just hand to do us dirty with uh, here's a banger of a season. Here is some of the worst matchmaking you've ever had. So, <laughs> so then I'm mixed on. Real life wise, I'm doing pretty good. I still really hope they are. Uh, they actually mix the season up a lot when they were talking about having like seasonal. What am I trying to say? Like different different parts of the season are going to like change supposedly a decent amount. I really hope they actually it's not disappointing. But like the uh, the different seasons they end up adding and actually like refresh stuff. And it's not just like before where it's like we added vines to the jungle. We added an invisible lamp to the jungle. Which, like, those are a little bit cool, but just it's not enough. It's just something. Yeah, I don't. I actually, I genuinely don't know what they did for matchmaking. Ranked is just gonna be what it is. Ranked, like, although honestly, I think they fucked that up a little bit too. Because I swear, I'm pretty sure some matches just literally, like, even MMR wise, just aren't close. Like, you'll take one team and it'll have. Average 2k and another team will have average 2200. That's just like, that's just messed up. Oh, is that big money? I don't know if these, I, I think these were big money when they came out. I just casually spot something and then don't immediately go look at it. Is this good? Oh my, it's heavy, isn't it? I feel chunky now. Oh my god, it's heavy. How good is this thing? Body armor repair kit. 20 kgs? I think it's supposed to be big money, right? Oh, I need this. That's that real big money. Damn. All right, let me path safe as hell then. Oh, I don't even get stand back right now. Yeah, I think we might be doing a little rat extract right here then. Oh. Let me hide my head. That's gonna take so this might this might get a little slow. I gotta wait for Stam in between sprints. I got this scav. Oh! I had to pick a stupid time to shoot. Thought his head was still there. Sit in my little hole. I'm not even trying to rat, I literally just need stam. Jesus, man. Nobody's seeing this. Nobody's seeing this. Nobody's seeing this.
one shot. Actually, I should probably put that thing back in. It probably still has more ammo, huh? Yeah. It's so awkward trying to wait for Sam right now. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's worth just oh god. <laughs> Holding on to this thing and getting out with it if I can. I'm so chunky, the inertia knocked me off. I wasn't ready to turn that hard. Well, that had nothing in it. Are you kidding? I did not fall that far, right? How am I taking damage? Oh, surely I get stand back faster if I just do this, right? Yeah. I'm going to sit in my corner and I'm going to get out with my loot. Wait, why is it essential for hideout? Do I need it for upgrading something? I didn't even know about that. No, no. <laughs> not really trying to be a bush rat it just happens to be here <laughs> not really what I'm going for but hey why not repair them instead of paying to repair it Oh, okay. How much does it go through? Is it actually like worth a ton then? Is it like super valuable for high tier armors or something? Or does it go through extra for high tier armors anyways? I don't think this is open, right? Oh, it is open. Where are my scav friends? Nice, this will be like a super speedy extract then. Does kind of blow. I sort of hate doing raids like this where it's like find something valuable, insta dip, and that's like it. But also, it's probably just worth it. Like 10 minutes of time for 500k. I guess I don't even need to be trying to get found and raid if I just use it, huh? Any scab down here? Sometimes they like to be little shits and uh, hide right in this corner. It looks like we're good. Fifty out of twelve hundred? Okay, that's insane. I gotcha, I gotcha. That seems insane value. So what you're telling me is that it might be five hundred K on flea, but it's actually worth way more than the five hundred K that's on flea. As long as you're not wasting it on like packas or something. Cause yeah, armor repair is crazy expensive now. It used to be pretty cheap. Like I'm assuming. Wait, did I already die with that thing? I think I already brought it in and died. The the TV rig I had found on that one guy. I'm assuming if I repaired the whole thing, it'd be like 80k.
Boom. Oh, wow, I'm like really running out of the good stuff. Uh. Okay, okay. Apparently I have secret BP ammo that I didn't remember. We'll do that. All right. God, do I insure this? I should insure it. It's early wipe. This bag's so good. And people hate it because you can't backpack stank with it like at all. John Wick run or no balls? I'm gonna go with no balls. I think I'm okay with that. I hate running pistols, man. <laughs> like maybe, maybe later in the wipe when you can kit them out and make them cool. But oh my god, they're so bad. I will say though, I'm assuming you can still. I'm assuming it's still similar. Running the full auto kitted clock, that thing is fun as hell, even though it is absolute trash. But the 50 round mags in it, recoil to the moon. I think it's one of my favorite meme guns in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. I talked about this last stream. Who did it? Who did it? Maybe I was blind. I talked about this last stream, man, that I think it's funny that YouTube has likes and dislikes on a live stream because it's still happening, so it makes no sense. It's not like you're liking the VOD, although I'm sure it, I'm sure it carries over. Somebody just switched their like. Hey, put it back. I saw it. You think I didn't see it? You had better switch it back. Oh, no, now people are overcompensating. That's not, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted whoever did it to undo it, not not people to like, there, there we go, somebody took theirs back again. <laughs> no, and also, like, I don't even know if you, you, I don't know if anybody even actually did it. YouTube might just be weird with the analytics. That might just be bugging. Because <laughs> I feel like that's such a weird thing to do. But I just thought it was funny because I actually caught that. <laughs> what's my dpi in cents oh god um dpi is 800 cents i think is 0.4 ish in the game i don't remember for sure some something like that I got that, uh, I had a phase forever ago where I was watching, not really playing, but watching a decent amount of CSGO, and I really took to heart all the, like, the, the CSGO super nerd optimal sensitivity stuff, and I am here to tell you that 800 DPI is the global universal nerd DPI where you looked up some pros and you're like, this looks good. It's always, it's always good. Not too slow, not too fast. And then if you want to have a shoulder replacement, you go 400. And if you want to be less sweaty, you go higher. I swear, I swear there are going to be some gamers that get like a shoulder replacement that play on low sensitivity. Or, or some sort of surgery to their shoulder. Or maybe their elbow, maybe it'd be more of an elbow thing. But like just all the rotation from just like crazy mouse movements every hour of their waking day. I said that wrong. Every waking hour of their day. <laughs> All 
loot. Oh, what do we get? Oh. I need toolkits, man. I was hoping that was a toolkit. I don't need them yet, but I'm going to need them. I don't know, maybe I'll just get flea in time. I'm assuming they're cheap on flea by now. They have been leveling up pretty quick. I don't think the upcoming levels are all that hard to get. Oh, I need to go mark whatever. I need to go mark stuff. I got to remember that. I'm going to go run a new gas soon. Electric components, huh? These aren't like good for anything, right? I saw them a little bit early in the wipe. It really just seems like a new barter item. Didn't seem like they were anything too special. What we got? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of fun too. Like having an examine for, for ammo boxes and stuff. Like that one I could see. Like examining bullets maybe. Examining ammo boxes totally. Did I loot one of these? I think I need this. I think I have it. I don't think these matter. You know what? They executive decision. They don't matter. Ooh, meta mask. It could be kind of a sweaty nerd. It does look sick though. Drip is important. Let's be real. And shattered mask has unbelievable levels of drip. I don't know why in my head I got excited for a second thinking that was good, but I do think I need it for a quest. But I don't think it's actually good. Whoop! Whoop! I will say, Tarkov's a game that I think you want fairly low sensitivity for. But like, it's a little bit, when you're going upstairs like that, trying to sprint up and you got to do some, some quick 180s, I am absolutely swinging my arm around to make that happen. But Tarkov's honestly, Tarkov's a lot like CS where you don't really need um, high sensitivity normally. You can make it work, but like you want a lot of precision and normally you're just kind of, you're looking where you're looking. Like CS, you just generally have a good idea of where people are going to be so you can play way lower sensitivity. You don't need to make some crazy, oh my god, sort of flick, you know? Did I go to university? No. I would have done it if YouTube didn't take off. Or, well, I probably would have done it if YouTube didn't take off. I was also tempted to go the study at home and not waste money on university route. Because I do think school is absolutely a scam. I just think it's also a scam that kind of matters. So... <laughs> You do get fucked over for money, but like you it still it still can absolutely be worth. It's just dumb how expensive it is. That's mass take. I think I might actually want this. I don't know how many times I gotta clean up my hideout. Need the drill at some point for something, I don't remember what. It's funny how that works, where like when you play Tarkov, it's like, I need this for something at some point, I believe. You just kind of loot it and hang on to it, and then eventually you get to that point. You're like, nice. snipers I don't see anybody is YouTube my full-time job yeah yeah I have done YouTube full-time for a while when I took the big break from YouTube um a year and a half ago or whatever I guess that's when it would have ended would have been a year and a half ago so I guess like two and a half two years ago I just straight up like I just wasn't working <laughs> I just lived off savings uh oh Okay, we're not going. Into, I don't know if we're going to guess. I need to mark it. Somebody is plunking over there. I don't like it. 
I think we run up here a little bit and we go dorms. There's different types of shots in Tarkov, you know, the quiet that you just kind of know they're in that area. Like the, the quiet enough shots like that normally are like the meta shots. That's like this dude's got a kitted gun and he's hunting people. Ah. Uh -uh. Can I please? I'd like to move. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Why did they make it so that you can't move in a bush? It can't be that hard. Back to the rat hole. Somebody hit this. Hey! Don't I have food? Oh, am I dumb? I might not have picked up the food. I should have grabbed the food. It's pretty hard. Yeah, it probably is hard. But still, I want to do it. They should make it so you can get on the roof of dorms. Dorms isn't cancer enough. I need to be roofing. Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't think I can do me from there. <laughs> Oh no, let me in. No, 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 let me in. No, no. Oh, that motherfucker. Ooh, he messed up. I don't think that's him. I dinked a little something. I don't think that's a head. Audio is scuffed, but people are shooting in here. Oh, got him. Big L. L. All right, well, there goes my Salawa. Did not think. Oh, not think there'd be somebody on the roof. Somebody drops down and shoots me, I'm gonna be sad. I think I got pretty clapped. Because I had just stopped worrying about there. I hear him a little bit. Somebody's dead down here. I think it's a scav. I'm trying to figure out the audio, man. Not like it's even bad right now, just trying to figure out where he is. I don't know if he's on roof or he's just a second floor. Do whatever. Hello, I'm friendly. Anyone home? What'd you say? Oh, are you friends with the guy I shot? Is that is that what's going on? Your friend died, so you think I'm hacking? Wait, which floor are you on? You up here? Is that a yes? Yeah. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh! Hey, stop! Gonna be a hard fight to win. Do I have another nade? I do have another nade. <laughs> okay, that was a fucked bounce. That's lame. <laughs> Out there, man. I gotta look back at that. That wait. That's just that's a lie, right? How did I die from that nade? I I swear that was a good nade. I'm pissed. So funny that he thinks I'm cheating, man. Yeah, that had to be that had to have been my nade, right? And he didn't just throw one back. I don't think so. AP 20, huh? I wonder if he's on a quest. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that it's like it for some reason, because he did damage to me, it's saying he got the kill. And it's just weird. And it's too bad. I gotta look back at that, man. How the hell do I, I guess I can just go on the YouTube video. Ever since the video, everyone thinks everyone is cheating. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I get that a little bit too. Like, uh, like, I don't necessarily think he's, like, cheating, but, like, the guy that killed me earlier today, like, that felt sus. And it, like, specifically felt sus because of the video, for the most part. Because it was weird that he had as much info as he had when I'd done, like, legit nothing to make any noise. So, like, I get it. I get it. How do I do this? I'm assuming I can scroll through my VOD real quick and see where the hell that thing bounced off of. How do I do this? Oh! You guys don't have to listen to me. Here we go, here we go. Nade round two? Oh, uh, I think it, I think I, what? Hmm. Where the, I don't know what it bounced off of. It looks like maybe it took a really weird bounce off of like um an arch sort of in the roof. Yeah, I guess I, I unpeaked, so I literally just can't see. <laughs> I Okay, I got absolutely fucked there, man. That's really lame. <laughs> maybe it bounced into the doorway. I threw, I don't think so, though. I have no clue how it ended up there. That nade should have gone pretty deep and it ended up at my feet. That's okay, though. All right, what am I running this time? That's funny, too. Since he thought I was cheating, he's probably like, see, cheaters are so bad. <laughs> Doesn't get a wall hack, blows himself up with a nade. <laughs> this is why they cheat. They blow themselves up with their own nades. Hey, let me get that. Oh, wait, I don't want to bring the shit gun, do I? God, maybe I do. I am way too potato right now to want to bring the good gun. This, I don't think I can buy more ammo for. Yeah, I think we're running, we're running old reliable right now. And honestly, I got to stop calling it the shit gun because I keep killing people with it. Do I not? Meds. I'm just blind. Okay, got it. I gotcha, I gotcha. This time I'ma bring one nade. Cause it seems like two nades might be might be cursed. <laughs> See, uh I still technically have some BP ammo. I don't know if I I don't know if I care. I'ma just bring PS. Do I even need this key? I do need this key. Nice. That, uh, okay, I am, no, we are past, we are past the desperation point. I am selling that headset. I'm pretty sure it actually sounds okay nowadays, but oh my god, that, 
still. It's still cursed. Also getting rid of the hats, even though they're kind of nifty. All right. Uh, what do I need? I guess that's, I need a backpack, then we're good. What happened to my sling? Did I die with the sling? I think I must have, right? That would have been, that would have been what I brought with the TV raid. Still been a pretty good wipe so far. Or <laughs> wipe, but <laughs> like a count wipe. Killed myself. Died to players twice. Both the deaths were actually like pretty good deaths too. That's nice. The nade, nade death maybe not so much, but <laughs> is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta blow yourself up a little bit. What else do I have to mark? I marked construction. I gotta mark like opposite side of the map. I gotta do new gas and I gotta do over by the trailer park. I'm not sure in this thing. I hate it. It's such a bad helmet. But I'll run it because I have it. All right, man, have a good one. Click the auto sort. See, but if I auto sort, it's going to move some of the stuff that I already have organized. So I kind of don't want to. I know right side has advantage. Yeah, I didn't want to. Um, He was holding the angle really hard, so I didn't want to jump across because I thought he might just lay me out. Especially knowing what I know now, where you had AP20, you would, like straight up could have one shot my chest at any point. So like if he gets the shot, I just die to get back to a right side peak. What I wanted to do was have a nade that didn't suck, and then I was just going to straight up push. And I was going to make him peek into me. Because it seemed like he had a big enough, like high enough recoil gun that if he fucked up at all, I was just going to be able to spray him down. So that was the plan, but then I just blew myself up. Because I really hate playing peak battles in dorms like that. It's like he just gets to hold that angle. There's no other way to get there. I just have to run down that hall. So it's really just like hit a good peak and abuse desync. <laughs> I mean, you can maybe do it without abusing desync, but it's mostly like hope for hope for good desync where you shoot them in head before you're on their screen. And then he's like, he's really cheating. Or you can just nade and push and yeah. So some dorms fights gets really get really dumb like that. I probably should have just left him alone, honestly. Although I did want the loot, so I shouldn't have left him alone. I don't know. I hate pushing people down that hall because they just get to play it like that. I do really think they should add a staircase to that that rooftop there. Like something. Something so that you can get up to that roof from that side. I mean, they technically have the staircase for the north side that's like closed off, so you're not able to go up the three story. But not even changing that. I think just making it so you can go to the little rooftop part would be a good change. So you don't just get a camp down there. They did they'd have no reason for marked. Yeah, but marked sucks now, doesn't it? So maybe they put it in and then they remove it if they ever make marked good again. <laughs> Cause yeah, that did used to be the thing is like you'd contest that so much for marked room. But I'm assuming like I think marked keys are pretty rare at this point, I believe. Maybe they're just as rare as before and they just matter less. I don't know. But but I know the loot is nowhere near as good as it used to be. God, I remember whenever they added syringe cases or injector cases, I think that's what it was that they added. Maybe it was something else. When I was playing the wipe for that, holy shit, I got a mark key like really early. I think I got a mark key like level seven. I swear I sold like three of those within a few days for over a mil. Absolutely wild how good it got where it's like, oh, I just looted a one slot for one minute. It's like, it's like putting a Ledex spawn in there. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, I really hope that, um, at some point we get a change to the way loot works right now on the maps. It's good to have hot spots. I also think it's good to have loot spread out, but I don't know. I really like it when there's more tiers to the looting. It makes it a lot more fun. 
where the chads can be like, fuck this item, it's only worth 15k, I'm a giga chad, I'm out here looking for 30k a slot items. And normally, unless it's the new map that always has OP loot, because they always balance it that way, which is fine, then you just literally, like, you can't play the game that way, it's just dumb. You're, just, you're barely gonna grab anything worth that much. Okay, I do need to mark new gas, I should go do that. I'm trying to remember, I think I have the keys I need for next quest, so I might sort of speed through this one. And maybe not, I don't know, I'll just go dorms. I should have talked it out with that guy more, man. I should have let him know. I don't know if he would have trusted it. I swear, normally, like, if you VoIP with people, like, like getting that extra humanity to you, like, I bet just from the little bit I said, unless he just couldn't hear me well, but I think I could hear him well enough he could probably hear me. He's like, wait, this guy might not be cheating. Because <laughs> I kind of gave him shit for even assuming it. <laughs> like, all right, man, all right. Like, legit, all I did was hit good shots. Although, you know what? If I did actually dink, if that little thing I shot at beforehand was actually his friend's head, then maybe I get it a little bit more. Because I did see a little little thing up there, and I was like, that looks like a head, and I dinked it, and then nothing happened, so I assumed it wasn't a head. Maybe it was a head. I had to wipe some shit off my mouse pad. I scare you guys? <laughs> Did I get ya? <laughs> I don't know if I got anybody. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I don't know if that even works. <laughs> nice. Nice. Watch me actually, watch me actually get spooked by something now. <laughs> watch me actually get like panic killed. There's scat, what? You're Narmasin from a place where you should not be Narmasin, buddy. I'm hearing scams over, I don't think they spawn there. I think my man might've gotten a little bit lost. All right, let me see if I can make the jump when I'm less chunky. I think if I can't, I'm pretty sure it's skill gap. Okay, yeah, I think it was just a chunk thing. Cause it sure felt easy this time. That might have been such more of a fun fight if I, uh, oh, what are the odds I care? Whatever. Oh, 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 we got boys in here. Yo. Ooh, I'm gonna rat on him. Oh, I'm gonna rat so hard. Oh, he's using a key. Oh, oh, I'm in between gamers. Come on, come on. I should maybe go shoot him while he's on the safe, but I don't know. Come on. You know you want to loot this. No way. No way. Where are they? They go outside? Dude, I thought they went upstairs.
If I get shot in the back, I'm gonna be so mad. I think they went outside. I can't see shit. I'm about to do it again. Damn, I did not. I thought they'd loot this, man. I really did. I thought they just opened the door and we'd have a desync battle where I either shoot him because his face is in front of me and he doesn't expect it, or it desyncs and I can't possibly react in time. Watch we get round two it getting peeked from the roof. Gotta be in here though. Surely they're in here. Although they could have already looted this, but it sounded like they went this way. It's got rain in my eye. What the hell? What? I never heard this, right? Where did I? Okay, no, 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 no. It could have happened. Okay, okay. I forgot where I spawned. There was time. I got a little lost this raid. It's kind of looking like two people are dead here. Damn, they just got down to business, didn't they? Okay, somebody got shot here. And they killed this guy and then they dipped. That's what it looks like, at least. Yeah, they like really scooted. Oh, <laughs> oh, they're fucked up. Do I even want him if they're that fucked up? Give me the Momex. You know I need that Momex. Yeah, I just missed like the super, just absolute Giga Chan duo, didn't I? You know they didn't stop for jackets. Let me hit these keys real quick. Let me get these... Oh. Let me get these keys. Okay, they did. They stopped for jackets. My bad. My bad. But did they stop for green box? No, you know they didn't stop for green... This is trash. Uh, Warzone made DMZ that's basically noob Tarkov, like super noob baby Tarkov. So in that way, it's kind of similar to Warzone. Other than that, it's not really similar to Warzone, though. I don't think I can buy that stock yet. It might be worth worth having. Actually, I might even be able to buy the little lock for it and just not the stock itself. So I can maybe just put it on this thing. I'm just gonna, whatever. This. This. There's a weird light. I thought there might be somebody on the stairs. We go out, we get quest, we leave. 
We we look for next quest. God, those guys were some meta gamers, man. That's wild. They straight up, they sped loot dorms so hard. Key, key, jank it, jank it, dip. <laughs> oh? Excuse me? I think it might be time for a rat attack. No way I get spotted over here, right? From anywhere over, over in this direction. They could have shot as they extracted. It's a very random spot to shoot from over there. I'm gonna camp this a little bit. We're gonna do a little temporary camp, see if anybody runs across the road. It's gonna be a little bit hard to hear with the rain though. Oh, and they extracted car. Is the car, it says it's taken. Well, I think it only shows right if it's taken. Maybe it shows right if it just doesn't show up. Time to clear it out. I gotta stop yelling, man. What if one of my neighbors is hearing it and they're thinking like terrible things are happening? Okay. Fire's not there, so I might have just extracted and shot. <laughs> I might have to chill a little bit with the yelling. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody, man. There have been some loud screams coming from this house. I think it might be a domestic abuse situation. Oh, it's domestic abuse, all right. Abusing myself playing this game. It should not be legal to do this to yourself. Anybody camping in the bushes? I swear, people love to camp this little area right here. Way too much. I get way too many spooky fights right here. It's hard to see through everything. All right, I don't have the key for Big Red, so... I guess maybe I'll do a little... little baby loot real quick. I think I'll do a little baby loot in that. And then we'll go mark the last thing and just extract. Oh, somebody's got a big boy gun. Got that satisfying boom to it. I just need the one more marker. I just got to mark the thing over here. So this game's basically, you bring stuff in, you have like a stash outside of the game. So when you survive, you can put stuff in the stash, you can bring it back from the stash, stuff like that. When you die, you lose everything you bring in, except for the stuff in this little container. This is like basically stuff that would be really annoying to lose every raid you can normally put in here is the main idea. Stuff like valuable keys, uh, certain meds that you just kind of always, I don't know, certain meds you don't go through very fast. Stuff like that. And then you're like going in looking to get loot. No shot, he's not fucking dead. Oh, now he is. I definitely dinked him in the helmet for a shot. Poor dude, that's so unlucky, that poor guy. I don't know if he heard me and thought I was in here. Or if he just happened to be there. But that was super random. I just got ammo diffed so hard, though. Ow. 
Ash, huh? How'd you manage that, man? Oh, no. Timmy, no. Okay, never mind. He has trash. <laughs> I saw a full bag. Oh, no. Timmy. I can't make it fit. Whatever. Uh, I can kind of sell this. But I can't fit all these, so whatever. I'll do I'll do this. I guess I'll just loot these because I'll drink them in a sec. Drink slash eat them. I can't use the ash though. And I, I've been I, I don't want to have to go get this gun like off insurance. I'm just going to run it. Ooh. Nice. You have any ammo that doesn't suck? Eh, whatever. Oh. Somebody was getting up to no good in here. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if that'll ever get old for me, man. I love, <laughs> I love the drama of being like, there's been, there's been a murder. <laughs> oh my God. I love it too much, man. No, I don't need a min max to loot that hard. I bet Timmy did do this, but it could have been somebody else. Cause he didn't really, he came from over there. But he could have like panned through and then gone that way. Uh, it'd be kind of like a weird way to path, but he could have done it. There should be a hole somewhere on this side where I can get through to the uh, the tank where I'm looking for. I mean, I can also just go like outside, but I'll make it a bit easier. Did you loot this, Timmy? Oh? A little chocolate, huh? Is chocolate worth much right now? Should I be looting chocolate to sell on flea when I unlock it? I gotta eat and drink this stuff. Oh my god. Stock flash hider for a gun that's bad? It's so funny some of the just the absolute trash tier loot you can get. Well, I guess what's funny is like that people that don't know any better will loot it and they just have to slowly learn just how bad it is. Like there definitely is loot where it's you're scav. It's so bad that you're just like, you might as well just be trolling for picking, like, there's no point in picking it up, basically. Oh, I swear I heard something. Like a voice, though. Back in my hole! Ooh, hit him with the dirty ang. How long have I been playing Tarkov? I first got into it like, when did COVID start? Like right before COVID happened? I guess three years ago, right? Jesus Christ. Um, Got super addicted. Played the absolute shit out of it for like six months. Um, Took, I think, a small break and played the shit out of it again for a few more months at one point. And then from there, I've only played it a little bit, like most wipes. Only a little bit. And I, I, I've kind of been feeling getting into it right now. As long as it doesn't feel like there's cheaters everywhere. Whether there is or there isn't cheaters everywhere, as long as it doesn't feel like there's cheaters everywhere, then then I think I'll have a lot of fun with the game right now. You're welcome for the audio bug. Alright, so that means we just got new dailies, right? Might get some fun ones. Hoping your, your friend learned how to loot. Yeah, there's such a big difference, man. There's definitely, there's definitely a huge difference in just like learning what's worth what and having an idea of like where to loot and stuff like that. A lot of people just suck at it, though. I, I will say that I learned pretty quick. It wasn't that hard. Also, okay, to be fair, though, to be fair, when I started Flea Market, got unlocked at level five. 
it is not hard to hit level five. You should, even if you are struggling, you can easily get level five in like 10 raids at the very least. And if you, if you aren't struggling, you can get it like three. Um, so, so that makes a difference because you can just look on the flea market and be like, this is worth this much. Whereas now it takes, now you got to grind for that flea market, man. Which I actually kind of like, because like, even though I think a lot of that change was probably to combat cheating. <laughs> Wait, do I still? Oh, never mind. Okay, I handed that in. I say it's funny if we need to get a gas in for daily and for the normal quest. Survive on street. He really wants me to go streets. I think that's what I had last time. But I don't want to go streets because I like having frames. Oh, I haven't been checking. I mean, it also hasn't mattered yet, as far as I'm aware. Um, no way. No, I'm, I'm thinking too much. <laughs> thinking my first death in the game hypothetically could have been to an invis player. But I also like I just got sniped, so I probably just didn't see him. But I've been forgetting to check, like you're supposed to be able to like pull up the, the console, right? And see if there's an invis player, because it'll be like constantly writing stuff or something like that. And I haven't done that a single raid. But so far, maybe it's more of like an ignorance is bliss thing. Because it hasn't seemed to have mattered. Alright, Garrett, have a good one, man. I really wish I could use this key. Oh, well, it's also like it's a forklift key, isn't it? Like, come on. How is loot somehow in a forklift? Let's be real. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Oh. That? This? Uh. This gun kind of sucks. Wait. Why did I think... Yeah, I should have looted the ash. My bad. I see what you're saying. I don't know why I looted this thing, and I thought it was, like, better than this by a decent bit, and it's really just a hunk of garbage with a suppressor. So, I might have I made, made, made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I saw that made it look better, honestly. Literally, like, I actually would rather run the gun that I'm running right now than run that gun. Because that's not even a good suppressor. It's just worth some rubles. Yeah, it doesn't matter all that much. Unless, I don't know, like, maybe I could have saved it for, uh, for Flea. I don't know if Ash is worth much on Flea. Probably not too much. So I need Bunkhouse Key. Oh, and I need to know which Bunk... Okay, never mind. It literally shows. Nice. Thank you, Tarkov. Got that nice, nice little yellow marker. So I know what I'm getting myself into here. All right. Wait, what level? What am I looking at level wise? Nice. Got level 10. But I am at the point where I need 13k ish XP per level. So that might be kind of rough. But I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to speed through quests pretty soon. I still need these. What's a good where can I get these escrows? What's a good place where I can actually loot those since they're not spawning in the black boxes or or if they do, it's not very often. Or has been mopped. What do I need? Do I really need power for nutrition? What do I need? Why? I don't think <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can make stuff in the nutrition unit without the generator on though, right? Like, I don't think it matters at all. That's kind of random. Reserve food storage in woods village houses. Ooh. Yeah, woods might be smart. I really don't want to go woods. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll do a scav run. I'm a scav woods. Because I really, I want to get some of the Jaeger stuff, like, done and not have to worry about it. 
So maybe I'll actually start weaving in some scavs. I really I don't want to go reserve. I hate I hate reserve. What's funny is I used to hate reserve because um when I first started playing, it was just such a Chad map where well like it was it was a weird mix. It's like a Chad rat map where people are camping long angles with absolutely disgusting kits. And it's really hard to get around the map safely. So me still being newer to the game and not having good kits and still not knowing like where people are going to be and stuff like it was it was hard. And then they reworked the map so that now it's like everybody go into the bunker and fight in this one little room and it's just temporary factory. And you can still do stuff around the map, but like that's where most of the action is by far and it's not close. And then now I don't like it because it's just dumb. <laughs> I'm like, give me, give me old reserve back. Why are we supposed to go? Why is there just like an arena down here in the basement? And we're all expected to run down here. Why did they add an easier extract instead of giving people all the hard extracts that were kind of fun? Thoughts on Baron versus Surtur matchup? I don't know. I haven't played it. I can, I can see the idea of just making him not able to move. But I don't know if that would actually matter. Do I even want this scope? Hang on, what's the magnification on this? Eh. It's probably worth it. Like, I, I get the hypothetical for why it could be good, but I can also absolutely see it just going terribly wrong. Because Baron ult, if, if Surtur has ult and Baron has ult, Baron ult doesn't do anything. Surtur just ults it and then goes on him. And then Baron's a way more gankable god than Surtur, because Surtur can just use his ult. Well, and also Surtur's normally going to build tank here. Let me check and make sure. I'm assuming there's not going to be... Yeah. Like, I know there's food spawns, but I didn't see any. But yeah, I don't know scav extracts on this, <laughs> on this map, really. I, I might know some of them. Eastern Rocks, don't know. Scav Bunker, don't know. Scav Bridge, do know? Scav bridge. That one I can probably find. There, there's an energy. I don't need I don't need food in general. I need um certain a certain type of food. So I don't really care about the energy drink. I don't know if there are many cheaters on reserve, honestly. There absolutely used to be. Um I could be wrong. I don't think there's really an impressive amount of loot for the most part compared to other stuff. There's not really too much reason to. Like, I don't think it's known for it at all anymore. I think Lighthouse, absolutely labs. I've been hearing Shoreline. And Shoreline makes some sense. From, from what I can tell, Streets isn't bad, which is really surprising, because Streets has tons of loot. Maybe it's just for some reason less noticeable on Streets. But I haven't really been seeing, I don't know, like the little bits of like watching streamers and shit. Like I haven't really seen people complain about it there. Now, let me try and manage my way over to the loot. See if I can not get too lost. I'm not even going to pay much attention. If I get shot, I get shot. I don't care. It's a scam. If I get shot by a scam, though, if I get shot by a comrade, that's messed up. How many players in the start of a match? So this isn't this isn't the start because I'm scaving in. So this is like this is like a temporary character where you basically take over a bot. Um and you just kind of take over at some point in the match, normally mid mid to like quarter of the way of the time left. But normally at the start of a raid, there's am I running a landmines? I don't think so, right? I can keep going this way. Normally there's like twelve on average. I think, I think almost every map is going to have at least 12. There's one map that has way fewer. There's one map that, one map that has six. Um, I guess the labs has, I think, 10. And then normally it'll be at least 12, and then maybe like 14, 16, something like that. But they'd also, you don't have to get that many players, though. The raid can start with fewer. Um, I would guess a lot of the raids I've been playing so far today, I would guess a lot of them have six to eight. 
there's definitely people around there's definitely different sets of people around like either solos or groups or whatever um but like it's not it's definitely not packed And Woods might be super quiet right now, because if actually, if there's one map people want to avoid because they're scared of the cheaters, Woods does make sense, because holy shit, can you abuse it on Woods. Alright, so it's got at least partially looted, but there's a pretty decent chance they won't loot the Iskras if they, if they see them. What? Oh, come on. Oh, I think, um, I swear when I've been over, over there in like the bunker thing over there, I swear I've seen a ton of Iskras in the past. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, hey. Fucking snuck up on me there. Yo, you see any Iskras? I need Iskras for a quest. <laughs> that wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Run! <laughs> uh, that almost had to be a PMC, so he probably doesn't think it was me. I do kind of want to fight this guy just in case I can win it. I don't know how to play it, though. And I also can't hear much, so he'll probably hear me coming, and I won't hear him. I think he was right up here. He could have been far. I don't know what sort of would have had a far angle. Oh, that was loud. Oh, no, I didn't know. Oh, I trolled myself. Tell me I have. OK, I have meds. My ears. Oh. Whatever. I'm about to go die. Check this out. Huh. Okay. Check the come at me. You think you can hit this? You think you can hit this? Huh? Huh? Try and hit it. Weaving. Weaving. Where's this guy? Is he just not up here? Hey! I hate that. Hang on, hang on. Reset, reset. <laughs> Where the hell is he? Check this out. You guys ready for big flank? He's probably just going to hear me walk up and just shoot me because <laughs> I because he has that sudden. I don't I don't think I get blown up here. not allowed to move too. 
Check this. Oh, he's not. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. He's, he's not ready. Hang on. Can I see all this? Yeah, this is actually not too bad now. Where is he? He might have run off. God, I wish I had a headset. I think he might have gone this way. So I kind of want to hunt, but he might not have. But I don't see anything. I think I gotta leave it be. Sucks. If I had a headset, this would have been so much easier. It's so hard to hear with the rain. It's all so muffled. I mean, I wanted to avenge my comrade. I'm just a worthless scav, aren't I? Oh? Hold up. No way he's down here. Oh, I'm about to hit him with a dirty shot. Actually not down here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no. <gasps> A clue. Hmm. Hmm. Analyze. All right, actually, where would this guy go though? Straight up. Oh. Yo, what's good, man? Sit a little, little crisscross right there. You see that? It might be an AI. <laughs> if it's not an AI and I get shot, that's fucked up. Yo, what are we doing? You chill? Wait, is he making noise underground? I think he's underground and is doing the bush rustling thing. It might just be AI, I don't know. I know they can kind of run like a player there. <gasps> oh. Oh. He <laughs> had kind of the blue-red thing going, so I thought... I thought I saw a body, and then I thought I didn't, and then I did. Everything seems so just tamped out. I'm really sad I didn't kill out. It always feels so bad when you're on a scav and you don't actually get to like chase down the player. You don't know where they go to. Kind of sucks. At least get my moment, you know? My chance. Yeah, I wish I wish the first guy was still around too. It's okay, he's in a better place now. Ooh! A gun that's not bad, perhaps?
Wait, wait. I'm assuming somewhere there are mines. I believe here there are not mines. No way. Okay, I'm fine. I tore my wound open. If I actually didn't have any sort of heal for it, oh, I would have been mad. Yeah, Tarkov has some really good proximity chat. Um, I think you gotta you gotta work for it though. You can't expect people to give you the chat. You got you gotta initiate it, at least a decent amount, right? You gotta embrace it. Because otherwise a lot of the time it'll be quiet. Like I totally I'm making friends. This is just a bot, but avoid on. Wait, are you a player? <laughs> Dude, I need this toss. I need this toss, man. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I thought he's going to loot that. I don't want to do it, but I need to do it. Yeah, let's let's go somewhere quiet. Let's go somewhere where he won't be missed. Yep, yep. When he plova. Indeed, indeed. I should do it with the uh, the other gun so it's quieter. Less likely to be witnessed. Oh my, he is booking it. Oh no. Oh, it's perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Not going to greed the pockets. All right, I can run over here, right? Be a little sneakier. All right, so what's my what's my closest extract now? Is the scab bridge actually the the PMC bridge? Can I just like walk up to it? I know they should auto target me. The whole the whole take him out with the silence gun thing is like. <laughs> That's supposed to be more of an RP thing. I don't think I don't think it actually does much. I do think if I shoot him with a silence gun, I think they're less likely to track me. Because I know scamps have some degree of hearing, so they might actually go to me if they hear that. Scab bridge is behind. Okay, I think I'll go to it later then. Wait, is scab bridge the thing that I was kind of by over at the uh the radio tower or whatever? The bridge, the bridge over by that. No, no, I want to go loot over here. Which might be too greedy, because if I die, I'll be annoyed, because it's for some reason it's actually taken forever to find this Taz. I'm sure I found a few before I had the quest. And go Eastern Rock? Where the hell's that? Only got 10 minutes anyways. Uh, who is ringing my bell? Excuse me. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open that real quick. Hang on. I'll be right back. Just in case. I think it's just a package, but I'll be right back.
All right, be honest with me. I got eight minutes. What are the odds that I can loot the town? And, uh, yeah, you're gonna hear my cat. He's all needy now because I went downstairs and he's like, what? You're all live? As if the door hasn't been opening, he hasn't been hearing me this entire time. Um, scam friend. What are the odds I can loot this and dip? Oh, 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 the wiggle. Yo, the wiggle. Hey, oh. Dude, I'm not, I did forget that they might be mad. <laughs> Whoop we Okay, I should maybe just get out with the Taz. I might have made a huge Oh No Loot I can't My bad guys, my bad. I thought we were cool. Alright, where do I go this way? Where do I go this way? I should we get like shotgun from 300 meters? <laughs> Go straight. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think there's no mines over here, right? I think all the mines are in the other section. Oh, you know what else could have some loot? Hang on, hang on. Loot this, loot this. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. Why is it facing the wrong way? Who would ever put the toolbox that way? Nice, big money. Oh my god, my cat is so sad. I might... I might need to take a very brief pause after this raid. Nice. Ooh. You're telling me I get to blow stuff up? All right, where do I go from here? Yup, yup. Follow road until roadblock, turn right and follow the rocks. Hmm. Can we see the cat? No. No, I don't have a good way to show cat right now. Drop mags? True. Drop this too. Ooh. Could get something good. Wait, no, that's not loot. Hit this. I kind of want to just like loot everything. I I've barely been here ever, so I don't know if it possibly has the Iskras that I'm looking for. <laughs> the hell? Tarkov, you good? All right. Do I go? Do I go all the way? Just go up here and ro just hug rock. Oh, is it like up there? That seems pretty scav extracty. Is that little this little cubby up here? Yeah, because I totally can't just whoop. <laughs> it still kind of makes sense. I don't know. It's a little bit of a weird spot now that the map's expanded, given this is part of the expansion. I'm assuming unless they change it a little bit. Oh.
Yeah, to this day, so many of my scavs have been on interchange, um, which maybe would also be a smart place to go for, for Iskras, honestly, because even though the black boxes either don't have them or barely have them, I think there's other spawns that would have them there. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so many of them have been on interchange, so I like just legit do not know scav extracts for the most part on any other map. For the most part, I do. I do a little bit. I don't really care about selling that. God, I might just stream Tarkov forever today. This might be huge Tarkov stream. Come on. Let's scoff, thanks. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. Nice. So I gotta start killing people. Sounds okay to me. Did not think I'd be getting this already. Huh. So they really did they really did change up how that works. But that's cool. So extortionist. From from the West just kind of gonna happen. I guess I'll turn these in. Um, bring in key, get key. What else do I need? I need to find morphines. Yeah, so I think we're definitely going customs here. Oh my insurance! Maybe maybe I shouldn't have. Do I need any of this? At the very least, I think, hang on. At the very least, I think I'm selling that. The hell? Stupid prapper, man. Giving me garbage. I am curious, um, hypothetically, if I wanted to sell it. 100k? Okay. I wanted to know the value. Ooh! Okay, I am excited for that scav. That scav looks sick. Actually kidded, man. He's got the butt pad. The sight sucks, but like he has a sight. And he's got a suppressor. And he's got a foregrip. This is a menace of a scav. All right, I gotta actually remember the extortionist quest. Time for stir up factory runs? I don't think so. I think I am straight up gonna leave that quest alone, unless it's different now. That has been a quest in the past that unless you are trying for Kappa, you just don't ever have to do it. Nothing else happens after it. So unless they mix that up, I'm just gonna leave it alone. And if at some point I happen to do pistol runs and I get that done, then then cool. But I hate any of the quests where it's like come in with certain gear and just die off cooldown to finish quest. I hate those quests, man. I just want to play the game the way I want to play it. I don't want to like be told all that shit. Doing stuff like go get Mosin kills, stuff like that. That's cool. But or well, I guess on PMCs it wouldn't be cool. If it was kill scans with pistols, I wouldn't care. Have I seen the bot comment thread on my recent short? No. What? It's not even showing up for me. Making money is an action. Keeping money is behavior, but growing money is wisdom. I found this out a week ago after getting a $10,000 return on my $3,000 investment in seven days. This is more important than the queue. Hang on. Fuck, I'm getting in a raid. Um, wow, how is that possible? Please, I'll appreciate your assistance on how to go about it. 
I invested with expert Karen Gomez. She's the best. Same here. I've made $12,400 profit on investment since I started trading with Mrs. Karen Gomez. She's a really good broker. I have earned lots of profit. <laughs> Just the same thing over and over again. Thanks a lot. I will contact her right away. Can I really trust her? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow i don't know about <laughs> i don't know about you guys <laughs> but i'm thinking that i need to invest with karen gomez holy shit man uh hackers yesterday ran into a friendly hacker killing other hackers that was it Nothing else sus. Died one time. One death wasn't sus. Today had a death that was kind of sus, but totally could have been legit. Um, but just like I, I ratted on a dude super hard and just like the moment I finally actually peeked him, he just happened to be looking right at me. So like could have been walling. Absolutely could also not have been walling. And then that's been it. I think I died another time. I don't think that was sus. I don't even remember what happened. Oh yeah, I needed myself. <laughs> that was that was a little bit sus. I have been accused of hacks, however, today. So that is a one for one, because I am definitely cheating. What ammo am I using? Oh, I just have noob ammo. I don't remember. I don't think I'm even running any BP ammo right now because I don't have flea. I have a little bit of BP I can use. So I'm running that juicy PS ammo in my almost stock AK. I do have a, a guy I killed earlier had an M995 M4 that's super kitted that I can run at some point. But I don't have a ton of ammo for it and I don't really feel like dying with it right now. Because at least at the moment, like the rest of my gear is so much worse that it will feel bad to die with that. So I'd rather not. And I'm not getting all that much PvP. And honestly, like, this gun, I've killed so many people with this garbage gun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I am pretty sure I've collected, like, five PMC kills with this thing. And I'll put it away, and I'll run a different gun, because I'll kill somebody that has a better gun, and then I'll die, and then I'll run it back, and then I'll kill somebody. What am I doing? I need to go get the key. I need to do the bunkhouse thing. Which, which bunkhouse is this? I think I know. I think it's the one up here. So I think we maybe run dorms? And then we go down. And then I think I'll just grab the key on the way to extract and I'll try and do it next raid. So, something like that, probably. Is the watch displaying correct time? I, I don't think so, but I don't know if I've ever confirmed. I don't know, those seconds sure do seem to be going awful fast. I guess it might do a pretty good job of in-game time, actually. I've never cared. It might actually represent in-game time accurately. If so, they cared way too much to put that in. Because in-game time goes way faster than real time. I don't even, I don't even know how fast in-game time is. Anybody triggered by me dragging loot instead of like shift clicking or whatever the thing is for loot, you're welcome. What the? That was a little bit of a chug. We do a little teleporting. I don't think I've died looting this duffel bag yet. 
I always I always feel like it's a dumb thing to loot. Cause just even though it's not the spookiest spot, like it's a spot where you totally could just get shot from somebody in the area. And it's like it's not that important. But it hasn't happened yet. Come on. Come on. What are the odds the same exact thing happens? Where I get in here and there's just like dudes running around and I try and rat from this room. Should I give it some time? What's the area of the Tarkov map? Like region or like size? Because I don't remotely know how to describe the size. There are different maps for one thing. And they're like hypothetically connected lore wise, but not in game. At some point they want to do it in game, but they're not remotely close. I think he's upstairs. Yeah. I kind of want to do some rat shit, but I opened that door. I'd have to close the door. Maybe I do rat shit from here? Hmm. So confused by the audio right now. I can't tell if he's just up there or if he's outside. Yeah, it's fairly similar to Daisy. There's a stash in this game, so you can come out with loot, store it away. Okay. Am I hearing him in the other dorms? Is that a thing? Because that's what it sounds like. Hey man, how's it going? What you up to over there? Oh, come on. Don't play coy with me. Come on. Oh, we can talk. We can talk. <laughs> okay, well, you shouldn't have done that, bud. Should not have done that. I think he's new. Oh, Timmy, no. Timmy! <laughs> oh, he, does, he probably didn't hear me. This is a bad... This helmet reduces noise. Is this worth anything? It's like kind of a streamer item. I guess it's literally a streamer item. Timmy! That's probably why I've been confused. I've probably literally been hearing this guy just being a little rat up here. And then, uh... Hmm. I thought I heard something under me. Ooh. Oh, he needed it for quest, probably. I'm sorry, man. Oh, somebody's out there. 
Actually. It could just be a scav. But if they come around through here, I get a little I get a little shot. What you got, Scav? Oh. Oh, they're popping over there. Alright, uh... so bad I could maybe I don't know might not even be worth holding holding on to I kind of want to push that guy but it does also seem a little stupid the guy in the other dorms Let's see what we got here anything worth living with yep rat mode engaged All right, is this armor worth much of anything I'm just eyeing that rooftop. I'm surprised how often people are up on that rooftop. Because it seems like such a good way to get sniped if you run into anybody a little rattier. Like, it can be a good angle if you catch somebody trying to push in. Because it's such an off angle, but it's also, like, so vulnerable. Seems kind of dumb. I feel like pushing two story right now. I got other stuff to do. Got a decent amount of loot too. Oh. Is that a need? The audio scuffed so hard I can't tell if it's a loud gun or if it was an explosion. What are the that might be scav boss then? If this dude is still fighting in there. Unless people are actually pushing him. It could be Rashala. Which that'd be fun. Man, should I go back? Should I have fun or should I quest? Okay, you know what? I think I might just quest. <laughs> I've already, I've already been pretty content so far. I think I'll leave it be. It's, it's a pretty stupid thing to push. That was random. Really surprised I didn't die there. I don't know if he has a bad gun or if he was kind of bad. Maybe both. I am running into some Timmies right now. See, I'm a Timmy myself, but I have the advantage of having formerly not been a Timmy. Ooh, wait, that's actually kind of a gun. Actually not too, I want it. Why can't I loot it? Give me the ax, Timmy. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. I have been needing some, this is that real PS ammo. That good shit. I wonder why I'm running into so many low levels. 
Oh my god, don't tell me. This is sad. Wait, this isn't... <laughs> I need the key. Um, Don't tell me. That there's all these low levels, because they're low enough level that they don't check the subreddit. That they don't know about the cheater video. And that they're just, you know... They're like, Tarkov is Tarkov, man. And they're just, they, they just don't know. And they don't care. And they're just playing the game. Because I could actually see that being a thing right now. Is that a lot of people that play the game more are all mad. And then some people are either just noob enough that they don't care because the game's still really fun to them. Or they're just noob enough that they just like don't even know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should probably check the uh, the stream and see how scuffed it looks on the stream. See if I should do anything. Because Tarkov, stuff like all this green... I've even done stuff to try and combat it a little bit already in advance. But all this green is like famously hard to see on streams. So even though I'm streaming a good bitrate... Um, it might be like way harder to see than it should be. No matter what, it's going to be easier for me to see for you guys yeah they're in the honeymoon phase yep when I was in my Tarkov honeymoon phase like I don't think any way feeling like there's cheaters would have stopped me it would have pissed me off um and being that new I probably would have thought that I died to cheats way more because <laughs> there's a lot of shit like learning how how loud audio is that makes it easy for people to Assume cheats. Oh, I'm running low on stam, huh? Well, I kind of can I get rid of this? Oh, the magic fix. Look at that. I gotta be careful about my weight right now. You know what? Honestly, IRL and in game. Mans has been caring too little about the diet lately. <laughs> oh, gotta be sniper scab, yeah. Did not. That was coincidence, by the way. <laughs> was pulling this out to try and snipe sniper scab. Happened to run into, <laughs> into this random ass scab. Oh, would you hang on, meta boys, boys? Wait, where is it? Where is it? Get it out. I don't need it. Yeah, and that was, that was some crazy timing to run into this guy. Honestly, stream looking pretty crispy. Good. What? What? Oh, okay. It's blending. It means too yellow. God, I did sniper scav so dirty right there. Kill friend? Yoink friend's gun? Tap head? And just, you know, just go on about my day. Because really, who cares that there was a sniper scav when there's no longer a sniper scav? Don't shoot me while I loot this. Alright, got that. I didn't get the extortionist key, right? Okay. Do I go bother with that, man? This raid feels quiet. I think I can greed. I might hard regret. This is also a fairly safe path, I think. So I bet I can just greed. We've already eliminated a couple Timmies. I know somebody's been busy in dorms. He might have died to scam boss or whatever the hell that was. Oh, I looted this key. I know, I got... When I was playing this wipe, earlier this wipe, like before I had reset, I had the same issues with that key. I got out with measuring tape, right? I'm pretty sure I have measuring tape. I think I got it on my scab and forgot to actually use it for hideout. Oh, that's right. Wait, I'm not too chunky now. Stuff really weigh that much less? 
the pistol was too much. Maybe I just didn't know any better and the pistol wasn't actually weighing me down that much. So Scav is like the AI, but also you can be a player Scav. So the little, like the Russian, the typical Russian AI that's not going to be that dangerous and they're going to be super poor. You'll hear them voice calm a decent amount. They'll, do, they'll have these different voice lines. That's just like the AI PVE that you're mostly dealing with around the map. Um, but you have this cooldown on player Scavs where you basically get a random Scav to work with. I have no clue what that noise was. Good old audio scuff. It could be here. It could be across the map. Okay. Oh, this is not the site that I want to be using. God, I'm so heavy, man. I got to get used to throwing my backpack down. Did he try to heal? I don't think that was a nade. I think he tried to heal. There's more? Okay, they're fighting, I think that should be new gas. Grab bag. Drop bag. Oh. I had too much confidence in that first shot. There is hella scams around here, though. Wait, is there? I heard one yell, but he might just, he might have been through the wall. Oh. So there's a player, it sounded like suppressed shots over there on that side of the wall. Uh. But I don't think we have to deal with it. do I jump over this? <laughs> What's the jump spot? Is it this? I don't think there's any way I'm getting over this. I did it from the other side. I don't remember. I think that's how I have to do it from this side. Alright, I am extracting... <laughs> Right way, right? Yeah. What's the harm? What? No way! Timmy! Timmy, I thought he was a scam! <laughs> Timmy, no! Oh, that's tragic. I wonder if he was just sitting down to like check map or if he was actually straight up AFK or just couldn't hear because he has that he, that helmet has like no sound. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. I have been taking the axe to Timmy's this raid. Oh, my God. No other Timmy's but me. Hell? Oh, it's farther. Okay. I thought, they were, I thought they were shooting where I just came from. I am Bush. I guess stand back. Yeah, the game's very intense. Um, I will say right now. If you haven't been specifically warned already, 
Um, the subreddit and like community is a little bit in flames because of a big no. Dude, the stupid audio bugs are so annoying. <laughs> Get fucked, scav. I think that might have been a player scav, by the way. I'm not going to stick around and try and loot him and find out, see if he has any loot. Because I don't want to get dinked and I'm already pretty full. But I think that might have been a player scav, because I don't think AI scavs normally do that. Anyways, there's, there's a big cheating issue right now with Tarkov. It's been getting a lot of fuss over the past week. It's something that people have generally known about for a while, but they got to see that it's like, there's a lot more people that are like low key cheating than they realized. So there is that. But even with that, like I'm not noticing an issue right now currently playing, it's probably going to get worked on pretty hard soon because they're just going to lose a shitload of money if they don't. And there's already a lot of specific ideas for how to work on it. Um, and it's still like a really fun game. So just fair warning. I've already been here. Wow. Not too often. Not too often I see that. Did they already announce a new anti-cheat? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, whether they have or they haven't, like, the, the current anti-cheat has been shit as far as I'm aware. It's like, I'm pretty sure they added it while I'd been playing and it did not seem like it did anything, but maybe it just got really quickly worked around and I just didn't notice the little, the little bliss. Yeah, the, the, the big issue is that like Tarkov out of any game you can play that I can think of is the most painful to run into a cheater. Cause you so often have so little info in Tarkov and you have so much to lose cause you actually lose your kit when you die. Um. Nice, good raid. I feel a little bit bad for every single person I killed because they were all low level. But, <laughs> but I'm low level too, so that makes it less bad. I did everything, right? What did I have to do? I had to grab the thing from Bunkhouse. I had to grab the thing. I think I did everything. Yeah, I think it's got plenty of lore. Um, There's a lot of skipped over lore in Tarkov. Like, you have constant quests where you're getting these, like, actual interactions with these traders that are, like, telling you to go do stuff, and you're getting, like, a better feel for the world. But a lot of people just like, what do I have to do? And they don't read it. Which, once upon a time, I read it, but I've played the game enough, I just don't really care anymore. Got that done. Uh, Rapper. And start working on this soon. It's probably going to take a little bit. Um, who's the other quest for? Skier. Now we have the flash drive thing. That'll probably take a little bit. All right, so that might really halt progress at this point. Really? Because I really don't know how much I'll be able to do like ice cream cones. I'm probably just not gonna be able to get done anytime soon because I need the crafting for it because it's so hard to get by just finding it in raid. It's so unlikely. The like, I guess this doesn't matter that. It's like, what can I do, man? Oh my. Wait, does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. I just realized I could have been buying this this whole time. And I've just, I, like, I even knew that. I've just been forgetting. But I honestly think the site I have, I probably should still get it. I don't know. I don't think it matters that much. Am I ever going to do the Bacchus ADC? Probably not. If I do it, it'll probably be um a different build. I've literally played it before. I don't know if I, I don't think I've done a video with it, but I've literally done a... Like, I've done Bacchus ADC multiple times before in Smite, but I don't want to do the, the ring build. It doesn't make any sense. I want to do the poly build. All right, I got a ton of stuff to sell. I've been holding on to these rigs just in case I need them. It seems like it's really probably not worth, at least for the most part. I have one more piece of armor, 
One rig, armored rig. Don't even want this. Yeah, let me just make some space, man. If I regret it, I regret it, but I'll probably be okay. Hold on to that. Yeah, I can store more stuff. I don't really need to store stuff. I just need to, like, actually sell my things. I'm not worried about greeting for the flea market that hard. There's not that many things I'm really specifically saving for flea or anything. See, I think... I don't have this trade yet, right? I think I need therapist level 2. There's some big case barter. I think it's the... the uh, not sick case. The docs case. That I can use the lion for. But I'm pretty sure I only need one. Yeah, let me try and upgrade other people if I can. It's always so easy to just sell the therapist. She has such good prices. And she buys so much. I think sugar oil. Sugar's probably worth holding on to. I'm assuming... Sugar and chocolate. Like, I'm assuming those sell decent now. Ooh, look at all that water. I am living good. Alright, I do want to hold on to a few IFAX just in case I need them. Nice, right, get Jaeger. I don't think I have stuff for Peacekeeper right now. What do you buy? Okay, honestly, just get rid of this. Whatever. I'm pretty sure once I upgrade him, I can buy this this ammo. I can't yet. I've been hanging on to it just in case. I don't care. Get it out. Maybe I should actually try and get the shotgun thing done. Yeah, the gunsmith quest. Yeah, I'll get a scav junk box at some point. I've just been... I haven't wanted to, like, dump money on it yet, because I don't care yet. I think, I think basically probably... Probably as soon as I get fully unlocked, I'll do it. It also annoys me a little bit putting stuff in it, though. So I might end up just not even... That might sell on the flea for a little bit. Maybe I'll hold on to it. I might not even bother with it in general this way. I'll have to see. Do I, I probably need this for something soon. Okay. That should pretty much be good. Let's see, is there anything you want to buy? The lion? No. I maybe should have <laughs> carried that stuff over first. <laughs> Whoops. Get rid of that. Pretty sure I can just straight up put this site on, right? Can I not? Wait a minute. I can't put this on the SKS? Oh, do I need... I need this, don't I? And then I can, right? Oh god, where'd it go? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not using that absolutely disgusting sight that that man had on that gun. Have I ever used melee in this game? I have. Um, I don't remember if I've done anything remotely cool with melee in this game. 
But I have I have done it. I've been forced that far. All right, don't need to bring that anymore. Oh, forgot I had that. All right, I think we're good. Let me go do hideout stuff though before I forget. I want to, ooh, I want to run it, man. I'm just going to be so upset if I lose it. I should at least, I should at least get M855 first so I can, like, restock ammo and raid. At least get Peacekeeper leveled up. How are we looking? Yeah, definitely running out of ammo, I think melee can totally be underrated. Um, there's also some good cheese in this game. Where if you run up point blank into their gun, they can't shoot you because their gun is blocked because of like the hitboxes and stuff. Oh, I just built everything. Um, can I make Iskras? <gasps> I... No! No! Are you kidding me? Oh, we're going to go scaven after I sold all that squash. Hang on. Before she does me dirty, give me some crackers. Ooh, I'm going to get to scaven. I do a night scav. Whatever, who cares? Yeah, running point blank into gun. Um, You can also do it with like a pistol or an SMG or something, but that one's going to be way less consistent. Yeah, blocking, blocking gun, pretty good. Actually, pistol probably works well. I think similarly having a pistol is a little bit underrated for running out of ammo. But it also totally depends because there's so many times where it's like, oh, I'm mid to late game in Tarkov and I have something bigger than a 30 round mag and you just like, you normally just shouldn't run out of ammo. <laughs> Should normally just have more bullets you can shoot and not need to reload unless you're just safe. All right, I'm probably not going to stream too much longer because I'm actually having a ton of fun playing Tarkov right now, but I'm going to have to eat at some point. Not like not like this is last raid, but I think I'm going to wrap it up in uh, like half an hour to an hour or something. Still going to be a hefty Tarkov stream, though. I wonder if it'd be interesting or really annoying to have some sort of combat mechanic added to, uh, not combat mechanic, melee mechanic added to Tarkov where you like can actually do legit takedowns. I could see that being not like Battlefield, um, or I guess Kata has that now, right? Not like some shit where it's like you're just dead and also not some shit where it's like, oh, I pressed the button fast enough. Now he's dead for trying to take me down. But if you actually had some sort of kind of weird, almost fighting game, like takedown, almost like a mini game thing <laughs> where you're like brawling on the ground, that could actually be a sick addition to the game because melee is clunky as hell in its current state. So if it's something where like you kind of could do some crazy shit if you got the opportunity, that might be really cool. Okay, I need food. I got lost. It's like, here I am on interchange. And I just started opening stuff. I need another Voiper, man. Last raid, I tried to have a good Voip session. And that guy either doesn't have it on, or he was scared as hell. And I think he had to have had it on. Because, uh, he just kind of, like, I started talking. He just walked on over. He thought I was up to no good. Now, to be fair, I did shoot him, but also to be fair, he didn't say anything, so 
Man was looking a little too sus. Hey! <laughs> Y'all quieted down over there. Are you hearing these guys, man? <laughs> pretty, sure, pretty sure somebody threw the wallet. I could just scared him. <laughs> I swear there's that person I'm actually trying to talk to. And I'm not losing it. Okay, I need more squash. Surely there's more. Surely there's more squash. Squash, squash, squash. What else did I need? I need squash. I need crackers. I need something. Did I actually have the something? What do I need for that Iskra barter? I'll be so mad if I don't loot at all. Uh-oh. I think we might be out of squash. Friendly scav extracts, like co-op extracts? Uh, not really, just because the little baby bit I've tried in the past, it's just so inconsistent. And it's also, it's so risky for PMCs. It's really hard to like trust a PMC for it. Like I'll co-op with scavs pretty often. But it's been fairly rare where I've gotten the chance to go up with a PMC. I've done it a few times. I think I've done it on reserve once or twice. I've done it on interchange once or twice. Hello, anyone back here? Any friends? I swear there was a guy looting this. Gotta check. Oh, wait, no, I might, I might actually be losing it. All right, I think I need more squash. I could be wrong. I think I needed to. <gasps> Timmy! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I have nothing to gain, but I have to investigate. Okay. There was shooting back here. Anyone? Where'd they go? Hit him with a little, hit him with a little Russian singing to lower their guard. Oh wait. Don't do it. Hey, chill. We can be cool, right? We can be cool. I know, I know. I might have looked spooky. I, if he shoots me in the back of the head, he's a little shit. I was so close to shooting back, but he looked so scavy and he missed so hard. And I was like, you know what? I'll give him a chance. But, ooh, I was ready. I also am pretty sure I get hit for the karma because he missed so hard. He just straight up did not hit me. So. <laughs> so rip my scab karma for protecting myself. <laughs> he had the same mask on, too. Like, come on. You gotta respect the mask. What do they add this for, by the way? Is this just some random thing? Like, this isn't... Because it's not like a... Uh, I don't think it's a streamer item. It definitely doesn't sell like a streamer item. 
It's like, why is it here? Maybe it's from some Russian cartoon I don't know about. Maybe it's relatable for the Russians. Well, I can feel it. We're going to run into some boys over here. Middle of the map? Oh no, I'm getting the Tarkov pinky. We're from pressing sprint so much, my pinky's starting to get like misshapen. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Come to me. Oh, I'm about to TK. Hang on. I'm gonna make sure I look sharp first. Is this just AI? He ran back and forth twice. I don't know. Ooh, I think I need that for the daily, right? A little free XP. Why was that so hostile? Oh, no. Ooh. Little rig upgrade, huh? Yeah, it's either AI or a player baiting that he's AI. <laughs> Could be one or the other. Either way, he should be cool. Would it be possible to stream on both YouTube and Twitch? It's definitely possible. Um, it's also pretty unlikely I'd want to do it. Although it is honestly smart. I don't know. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should set it up. Because I really don't see too much of a con to it. As long as it's not too, uh, too intensive. As long as it's effectively similar. I'm pretty sure my internet can handle it. I don't know if it's hard on my PC or not. Is my internet, at least right now, my internet's really good. Maybe if I move it, it won't be so good. I'm getting greedy with these tech stores. I probably shouldn't bother. I saw a boy. I want to... I just want to dip. I'm not trying to start any shit. Ooh, I can dip. <laughs> oh, I can take him. But you can't give Twitch Prime on YouTube. It's true. You know what? Let me go. Let me go loot Oli, man. Here, maybe I'll go. I'll go up the other way, so I'm less likely to get shot. See, the thing is, if he's in the tech store, he might have some good loot, and he might get scared by me voiping, and he might think he needs to protect the loot, even though I wouldn't do it to him. Because how's he gonna know? I need to see if it matched. Because I have seen these guys just straight up fall down on the escalators from up there before. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they can't they can just sort of topple over. I think that guy was actually just on the escalator. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, yeah? It's the same. Whatever. But yeah, I could see, um... I can see it being smart that it kind of opens up because like some people basically watch Twitch and then some people basically don't watch Twitch. 
So it's definitely potentially a way for me to just pull in more viewers if I do seriously start streaming on YouTube. And I could set it up so that at least I can see all of the chat, whether whether other people can or not. Like, it doesn't matter too much. It might feel a little bit awkward. Um, is there actually really, really loot here? Nobody loot Noli? Dude, Oli's where, like, all the loot is on Interchange. People have to know by now. It's been years. Once upon a time, it was not all the loot, and it was just kind of the rat loot. But like, nowadays? Come on. Nowadays, it's all the loot. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might look into it. Right now, I'm still... Right now, I am purely streaming because I want to stream, and I, like, actually don't give a shit about any money involved. If I did, I mean, if I did, I'd probably be streaming on Twitch right now. Because people will sub on Twitch. Um... So, yeah, I think I'll kind of feel it out a little bit, and if it feels like I'm gonna keep streaming, then I'll, then I'll think about it. Yeah. And I mean, I have my Twitch and everything, and my Twitch has, like, I don't even know what it's up to now, probably 15k followers. Which, considering most of that's from me not streaming and just people being like, oh, Mast has a Twitch, then <laughs> that's pretty good. But I also think it makes sense to stream on YouTube, since... Like, I, I do want to be focused on YouTube, I think, no matter what. I don't think I really want to be overall a streamer. I'm just down to stream if it seems fun. It's AI, right? I'm running with him. Yeah, it's AI. They didn't change this, right? I can just extract them or calmer railway or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I might have to choose one or the other. Hmm. I you might be right, actually. I honestly wasn't thinking about it. I don't remember what my partner contract is with Twitch. I mean, I will be straight up. Because for one thing, Twitch isn't gonna find out I said this, and if they do, I don't really care. But like Twitch, Twitch can kind of suck it. I get kind of shafted in my partner contract, as do most people, unless they're like a big streamer that's been doing it for a long time. So, like, I think I'm cool with just breaking it. I don't really care. So even if I'm not technically supposed to do both, I think I just might. And if they find out, they find out. <laughs> that's kind of my take. As far as I'm aware, like with just straight up with, with just straight up anything like YouTube just gives creators better deals. Like I'm never I never feel like YouTube is fucking me over. Or that YouTube's too greedy with my money or uh, with like the money I bring in. I'm stripping a scav gun. That's a rare one. Almost forgot the shroud mask and the T. All right, let me actually bring the rig over. I know, um, I know Weekend at some point had done a little bit of streaming where he was streaming to something out TikTok, I think. He might have been doing YouTube and Twitch same time. I'm not sure. I think he was streaming to, I'm trying to think what other platform it would possibly be. Inst Instagram has streaming, right? I don't think he'd be streaming to Instagram. I'm assuming it was also on TikTok. So he had something. Yeah, so I have a partner, like, I'm, I'm a Twitch partner, and I have been for a long time, but I honestly, like, I basically don't remember what my contract is, but I'm pretty sure I get in trouble if I stream on other shit, if it's, like, if it kind of coincides. If I remember right, I can kind of stream a day, wait a day, stream a day. Because that was going to be a thing with Mixer, I think. I think I had reached out to somebody. Any advice on where to start and how to get into the game? Um, God. Yes and no. So, for me personally, it, it totally depends on, on how you want to play it. Um, I think Tarkov is very fun to go into, pretty clueless. But it depends on how much you're willing to deal with, like, the defeat. 
Um, and it can also suck because there's you're going to be like some decent gear you start with. If you die your first few raids, you might lose it and just have absolute trash, which can suck. But personally, I think it's really fun to basically just go in pretty blind. Look up a little bit of basic stuff on the wiki, get like an idea of how combat works, like learn what meds do what and stuff so you don't just die bleeding trying to figure out how to fix it, stuff like that. Um, get some idea of like how ammo works. Maybe take a glance at whatever map you're going to go into and get some sort of idea of where the extracts are. But then honestly, I think going in fairly blind and just playing is really fun for Tarkov. Because Tarkov has such a depth to like the maps and the mechanics and the progression that if you don't spend too much time watching other people play it, um, especially like I honestly would highly recommend against watching a lot of the popular Twitch streamers slash YouTubers play it. Because a lot of them play super aggro, PvP is content, and it's not like, it's not a good way to actually play the game for most people. And if it is, then normally it's like, I've played the game long enough, I now want to do this. Like, they normally don't play slow. There's some people that play pretty slow, but... Like, Willers is a really good player that plays that plays slower a lot of the time. But, if you do want to get into it, then I think mostly just looking at, like, um guides on youtube just beginner guides i i don't really i don't think i ever watched one when i got into it and i'm sure there's way newer ones now but that would probably be good um i don't know for sure who does all that though i think rengar is somebody that does i'm not sure oh there's somebody i used to watch oh, god what's his name i'm actually i'm gonna try and look him up man there's somebody i used to watch that i think had really good guides i don't know if he's still doing it or not Yeah, he might not be. I don't even see him on here. But I don't know. I, I think it's something where you can probably just kind of look up some basic stuff and probably get a decent feel. What is his name? I'm actually kind of sad now. Hang on. I swear. Reserve key guide. <laughs> like you made this. But maybe he doesn't do that type of guide. Vox E. Does he still upload? Uh-oh. It's been a year? Uh-oh. And these are kind of, these are like once you're getting into the game guide. So I guess they're kind of different. I don't know if he has an actual beginner guide. It's like extract, ammo types, keys... Yeah, oh, there's, there's a bunch of different ways to go about getting into Tarkov, honestly. You can try and metagame it a lot more, and that can be fun. Um, or you can go in fairly blind. But I would recommend at least looking up a little bit, and the wiki has, like, all the info you should need. Like, learning... One of the big things is learning what ammo does what. Because um, Tarkov has a unique system... I can show it a little bit right now. Tarkov has a unique system where... Let me make sure... <laughs> I didn't scuff OBS by doing all this. Should be good. Where, like, armor and ammo are very different than normal. So, like, this is tier 4 armor. Um, there's technically 6 tiers, but normally the tiers you'll see are going to be 2 through 6. And the most common will be, like, 4 and 5. And this ammo I'm running is, like, fairly beginner ammo. And basically, this will reliably penetrate tier 3 armor. And it takes a few shots to penetrate tier 4 armor. And it takes a really long time to penetrate tier 5 or tier 6 armor. So there's a lot of stuff like that where when you have like the newbier bullets, um, and it works in ways where like SMG slash pistol bullets have less pen, uh, like sniper bullets have more pen on average, stuff like that. So like getting an idea for, for what's decent for that is really important because sometimes it might be like, I shot that guy in the chest 10 times, but if it's an ammo with an ammo that has terrible pen, then like it actually genu genuinely will not penetrate their armor. And they'll take almost no damage. So getting some sort of understanding for ammo is super important. Because every once in a while, I'll still run into somebody that's like level 20. And then they're running some absolute trash ammo. Like they could just straight up buy better ammo if they knew which one to pick. 
and they're definitely suffering from it. I really do, I don't have any quests I can do, do I? Craft a lunchbox. That's that's basically it. Craft a lunchbox. Shoot chads in the legs. To some degree, yeah. I think if you're if you're able though, shooting headshots, I think is the play. Um like going going for face and jaws is the play. It's so hard to leg meta somebody. At least with a lot of guns. You can. It depends on the context. But but I find it way more reliable to headshot because it just takes so many bullets to leg shot normally. <laughs> Not able. <laughs> it is hard, man, especially when the helmet itself blocks so much. Oh, I can make it. Oh, nice. Okay, well, this will get two. Apparently, I do need the generator, though. I didn't remember that. Get to it. Guess we're just running customs. Running customs just to run it. I mean, I could go woods and look for lunch boxes, but I don't think I care enough. I think I'll just do this. I might get a little bit chad this raid though, because I don't have that much to do right now. <laughs> Since I'm running it like I need PMC kills, getting a little chad makes sense. Um. Yeah, I don't know. If I hear shots, I might be sprinting at them. I haven't played the new Modern Warfare. It looked a little. I don't know. MW the the recent MW one when it came out, I thought it was super fun. I didn't really care about Warzone. Um. And the new one I feel like doesn't look as fun as the MW one they came out with recently. So I haven't really, I never got it. I had a lot of fun with the MW one remake though. I didn't play it for super long. I think I played it for like a couple months, but I honestly had a blast. A lot of the map sucked, but the gunplay was like really good. Yeah, it seemed like with this one, they really... It seems like with this one, they made the recoil kind of fucky. Like, it really seemed like they wanted to draw a little bit on, like, Tarkov kind of challenge a bit from the stuff I was seeing. But I don't think that fits for COD. Like, I don't think that makes sense. I don't know why they bothered messing with the gunplay when MW1 had amazing gunplay. Like, the only issue I had with MW1 was the maps were trash. Except Shoot House. Shoot House Giga Tier map. So good. Um, when I was a kid, I had a very short phase where I got into Magic the Gathering a little bit. Because I had a friend that, um, that played it himself. He actually, like, went to... I think some sort of some sort of game shop. I actually don't know where exactly he went. He went somewhere and played a little bit like throughout his life. So at some point he'd gotten me into a little, a little bit, but I've played very little. Like the smite skins. I don't know who those characters are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who the hell they are. I know probably all the different colors. Probably. Is there a yellow? I don't remember yellow. I remember my friend had a pretty sweaty white deck. I think I had a blue deck. Maybe I had multiple colors. Maybe it was like blue green. I don't even remember. Yeah, I haven't played much. I thought it was fairly cool. Like it seemed like it almost had to just be straight up like best card game. Because I played Yu-Gi-Oh growing up and oh my god, Yu-Gi-Oh is a trash card game. I loved it at the time, but oh, it's so stupid. It's so simple and it's so unbalanced. Yeah. 
Newer one called Flesh and Blood? Well, it sounds pretty metal, so that might be cool. Like a fighting game? Huh. I do remember seeing, like, technically a card game come out that was like a card fighting game. I don't think it was called that. Wait, is this even, is it not on Steam? This doesn't look like a card game. Oh, wait, is this not a video game? Oh. <laughs> it's an actual game, isn't it? I was thinking it'd be online. Oh, this looks very much like magic. Okay, tell me, tell me this does not actually have cards worth thousands of dollars. Tell me this is a scam. Because I just straight up looked up images to see what it looked like. And there's some site called TCG Player selling shit for $10,000. Slay the Spire is also hype. I do love Slay the Spire. Yeah, I'm getting the uh, the board game when whenever it actually like ships, which will be really sick. That way I can make my parents play it at some point. And I can watch them suffer. It might be way easier, I don't know. I feel like that'll be funny is trying to get trying to get like a very foreign game concept to people that, <laughs> that haven't played anything like it. Sold out at your local store? Yeah, maybe it's a banger. I thought there's a dark and darker or not dark and darker. Darkest dungeon card game now. Um I think it's sort of a card game. I think it's maybe more than a card game. It seemed like a pretty huge sort of set type of thing, which is Lay the Spires thing is too. Like it's not exclusively cards. But it's like overall what you're doing is with cards. But that thing looked like it was expensive as hell. The Darkest Dungeon one, if I remember right, was like... I think the base game was like 300 bucks. And then there was the DLCs, where I think the DLC was like 100 each. And I don't know how worth that is. And it probably doesn't translate as well. Slay the Spire actually makes sense to translate as a card game. Should I dip? Should I dip? It's taken so long. I might actually speed dip this raid. And I will be sad if I die before then. This might have to be a speedy new gas extract. Or old gas, I guess. Oat flakes! Oh, they're popping. No way. It can't be at me. Surely it's not at me. Probably not. I swear, they gotta... Look, the cheaters are a bigger issue. Holy shit, they gotta fix audio, man. The amount of bullets that sound like they're at you, and it's actually not. Didn't used to happen. Did they nerf this? I swear, there's no loot here. I've been checking. Maybe I'm just unlucky, though.
No! No! <laughs> I got stuck. I didn't know what would be there on the wall, man. I got stuck on the weird trash up against the wall. No! <laughs> Oh my god. T ammo. Timmy really had to do me like that. I bet that guy shit himself, man. No, they took the guaranteed spawn off. Trust me, I used to be an interchange rat. I know all about how many Iskras are in black boxes. But not anymore. It's sort of a good change, it's sort of a cringe change. They shouldn't be guaranteed, but I think it makes sense to have them be, like, reliable. God, it really, really had to do me like that, huh? Let it die? No. Okay, still got a ton of time on that. Don't have a scav yet. Let's see. Maybe just run the SKS thing. That sucks. I maybe should have waited for him to peek. I didn't want to risk the desync though. Wait, hit a little bit. What? <laughs> no way. There's more. <laughs> he had a little bit of BP in this. That's kind of random. Hang on. Check this out. One BP bullet. No. No. Put it away. Let's see. I have more. Oh, I actually have a decent amount. I must have gotten some. I think I got some from a quest at some point and just forgot about it. Oh yeah, didn't I get um or did I die with it? I think I have a daily item somewhere. Gas in. Do I not? There we go. Oh, baby. Random gun barrel? Nice. I think I'm good. Yeah? Got, got a little extra mag. Got some extra bullets. Maybe I bring a nade. Here, I'll look, I'll look juicy. Look spooky. Can I put a laser on this? Ooh, nice. Yeah, I figured it looked like I should be able to. I can't put a foregrip though, can I? Can I? Let's go anywhere. No. Okay. Yeah, they did it at some point during the wipe. Yeah, I think it was actually, it was probably pretty recent as far as I'm aware. 
I really <laughs> seemed like a very random change. <laughs> I don't think they did any similar changes. I think that was like actually a one-off change. And it does make sense for them to do it at some point. All right. Yeah, Sallow is tend to take a while. I kind of lucked out. Um, I think I got Sallow done really fast this time around. I had, I, if I remember right, I had one raid where I got all three in that one raid, and I got either one or two of them off of a guy I killed. Yeah, the Iskras used to be the easy part of this for me, but since they're not very common, like, they don't spawn in the interchange food spawns. They're not super common in, like, whatever you call the big food, like, cargo container things. They either don't or they barely spawn in the black boxes anymore, so it seems super random. Still haven't found the flash drives. Yeah, that one might end up being tough for me, too. Normally, what I've found in the past is just getting safe keys and looting safes is a great way. And then um, filing cabinets is like the budget scuffed way. And if you don't do that, then they're just super rare. Although also looting scavs. Looting scavs, and I think specifically, I don't know for sure if it actually makes a difference, but maybe specifically looting player scavs or just playing your player scav. Because player scavs get like a crazy amount, I swear, of stims, flash drives, um, some lab, lab cards is the other thing. Oh my god, man. All right, this will probably be the last raid. Although I might have to do a desperation scam because I might need to get another squash to try and uh, <laughs> to try and finish off the Iskras. Which the funny thing is, in a way, I don't exactly want to finish off the Iskras because then I get to the rest of the Jaeger quests. And I'd sort of rather just not have the Jaeger quests, you know? Not have to deal with the agony of going through all those. Although the first ones aren't too bad. Like stash some stuff, who cares? The body armor one's a little bit annoying, but that shouldn't be too bad. No body armor woods. This gun looks kind of sick, man. This little attachment. It's got 15 ergo, so I don't know if it's actually the best, but, but it looks kind of cool. I'm probably going to regret it a bit compared to the uh, my good old reliable AK I just died with. My baby. Although, to be fair, I think I can basically just make it again because it was mostly just a stock AK. <laughs> I don't think it should be too hard. That's how long it took to find it after bartering for it. Honestly, not bad. Considering that was like the beginning of the stream, not too bad. Give me the juice. Maybe I should have put a scope on this thing. Actually, I'm trying to think what goes in the Bravo. Are there a bunch of different options? Do I have any of the one X's for that yet? Hang on, I might have to end. Do a little inting, yeah.
Not sure how shot how far those shots actually were. They're probably past the wall. What are the odds I can camp this? Doesn't seem like the best of spots. Somebody's right here, I'll be mad. Oh my god. The audio is so scuffed, man. Hang on, panic hide. You guys hear? I don't know how, how easy it is here on stream. I just heard like the weirdest faint little bullet whizzes that absolutely were not going by my head. Damn it, man. It's so annoying. Like I have no clue remotely where it even would have been. Like where they're supposed to be from, you know? Like what the, what am I hearing? Wanted to run on the ledge and be all cool. Like, I feel like I've heard somebody in there, but the audio has been so scuffed, it's hard to actually tell. He's coming. Yes. He has a different scab, right? Pretty sure there's more scabs. Where'd your friend go? just him. So I did hear a little pop in up here. Should probably be a little spooked about it. Maybe get a little ratty about it. <laughs> oh, it's not what I thought it was. Maybe worth looting, I don't know. Oh! Oh, that actually isn't me. <laughs> hey, would you look at that?
I wonder if that might be scav boss. Right? Could it be a... Uh, God, what do you call him? Bird eye? I think it could be. Yes, please beam me from a place that makes no sense. Dude, I am getting so tark. I am getting Tarkov beyond belief right now. I swear the beam is through here and he just locked on through an entire metal crate because like, why would they be split like that? Why would it be over there somewhere? And I saw no bullets. So I think I just have to run this way. Hope I don't get Tarkov. I doubt I can take him with this kit, but I am a little tempted. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's definitely the goons. Because nothing. The first shot, I thought probably. Oh, God, if I go. Yo, if I go snipe up there, I die, right? I don't have a scope. Like, I die, right? But maybe I don't insta die and I get a test it all. Hang on. Yo, y'all got y'all got these peepers? I don't know. You got the peepers? I think they just recognize they can't shoot through that. Hang on. Hoop! Oh! Okay, I did perhaps get slightly Tarkov right there. Right now, this is a warning to anyone thinking of playing the game. This is like the super boss that can be on a bunch of different maps. And this is how lame it is. <laughs> this is this is how absolutely stupid the AI is. It's not impossible to kill because sometimes they're derpy as hell, but other times they will aim by you unbelievably hard. No, it's AI. It's not a hacker. No, so the funny thing is, if it was a hanker, I'd be dead. But because it's AI, it's like mostly supposed to aim like arms chest. Give you a little more of a chance. Because it's so unfun to get headshot by AI. They don't they don't typically aim for head. They're like coded not to. They still can, but they don't they don't normally aim for it. Yeah, I'm not even super familiar with this AI because it's it's recent. I've barely played with and against it. But just a little bit, like 100%, that's what it is. This is this three-month boss. I might just push it anyways, though, because if I push it from a closer angle, it might work out. If I can get the different ang. By the way, one of them tried to grenade launcher me just now. been some fighting. I don't know which side of the wall it's on, but either way, I gotta go to the other side of the wall. So I don't know if I'm liking this. But it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, so I might just die, but if I can go from here. Uh oh, they got a little more of an ang than I wanted. If I can go from here, maybe I can like not just be insta beamed and I can get up close and have a little chance. Who's hearing ricochets? I don't know if I'm hearing feet or ricochets. They chased!
That was them. Right? That, that was them. Right. Where'd they go? Where... Where the fuck did they go? Which way is he gonna push? Oh, is he just swiveling? Oh! Huh? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Somebody else? Wait. A friend? Or are they just beaming nothing? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Huh? No way. can't hit me in my own. See, like, come on, man. They get so dumb. I think I'm gonna leave him be. I don't have a great gun for it, and whenever I... <laughs> oh, wait, I have to fix the bleed now. Oh, my God. If, if he actually... If one of these works, I will be very mad. I will be done for the day. Maybe I can find it. You know what? Maybe I can find a player. Maybe I can find a juice Chad and I'll be like, yo, I found the goons. The goons are over at new construction. If you want some help, me and my little shit gun can go over there with you and we can kill the goons. And then last second, I'll be a little goon of my own and I'll TK him. And I'll feel a little bad, but it'll be worth it. Or he'll probably just die trying, but you know. Okay, last little, last little sprint. Don't you do it to me. Are you fuck? No way. No shot! <laughs> that, I think it's at me! Oh my... Uh, I was about to say hi, Rez. Battle state, please! Let them see walls! Oh my god, man! Stop! Oh, oh! No way I, no way I die to this. Holy shit, the recoil, man. Okay, I don't- I don't like this SKS. Recoil is fucking wild on this SKS. Oh, they might- I think they're shooting somebody else. And I can just hear it for some reason. This recoil is crazy. It's also got a lot of ergo, so I think it swayed a ton. Or not a lot of, like, really bad ergo. So I think like as I moved and was shooting, it was like, whoop. Okay, should I round three from another different ang? I really, I can't tell if they're still trying to aimbot me or not. Or if they're actually fighting somebody else and I'm just hearing the planks. Oh?
Hello? Is there any non-goons? Hello? Did I can't tell if it's just the AI? Yo, anyone there? Somebody's killing him. Unless they might be killing scavs that spawned. I think there's a goon right here. I can't put the face. Wait, can I? Are you kidding? I didn't. Nice, thanks. <laughs> Forgot I went on this. I want to peek, but I think I die. Maybe I peek from back here. Because there was a little grenade launcher, you know? Fuck, man. Oh, oh, I, the stress. I should reload this. That was dumb. I think I got to try it. I think I got to point fire this man. And if he's not in the corner, then I'm about to go die. And if he is in the corner, then I'm still about to die. And then whether or not there's anything in the corner, I'm going to die. Yeah, I think there's somebody. I think there's a little goon over there. Wait, is there not? Yo, if he is camping and I don't see him, I'm mad. Is this, should I take this? Does it sell? Because it looks trash, but like it might sell, I don't know. So I think somebody took one of his guns. Bag's like 250k? How the hell do I fit stuff in it though? Okay. I guess I don't care about this. Why am I chunky? Huh? What? <laughs> Is this thing itself heavy? Oh, it's heavy as hell. Oh. Yo, should I just extract? Because, like, I do have a bit of a sniper that I can try and do something with, but I should maybe just extract. No way. Rat life is good. Rat life might not be good. I swear I hear one over here too.
Okay, I'm gonna wait to try and kill this Gav, because I want to get stamina. I don't want people to hear shooting and run on over. Oh boy. It's gonna be like that, huh? What? These are some rat scavs. Dip. Oh, now they're coming. <laughs> now they're coming. <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh, that was some sort of raid, man. Goons, goons went a little hard that raid. God, I wish they'd fix their AI up. It's so dumb. So it's not worth, like, flea marketing this bag, right? It just sells well to, to Ragman. Because it, unless there's some sort of weird purpose for it later on, it does seem like just absolute trash bag in practice at the moment. When ammo's in the mags? I don't know for sure. Um, Because I did get shot by M62, but I got beamed by M62. So... Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't have somehow been the bolt action that I just got. <gasps> it's almost my baby. Apparently, <laughs> apparently I lost another at some point. I'd forgotten about that. That's funny. She came back. Oh, he messaged me. Hey. Why did he add me over this? Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I probably would have shot that guy anyways, though. Because naked gamers deserve to get shot. Do not take that out of context. <laughs> I hate when, dude, when people go in and try and play Tarkov naked as if there's not the whole fucking, I have nothing to lose. I will do some sick shit because I'm naked. Like, come on, man. I am not going to let you just go around playing the game for free. He had potato ammo. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I can buy M80, right? Don't I need... Oh, they changed it too. Do I need like crazy peacekeeper? Do I need like peacekeeper three now for M80? I'm assuming I can buy M80 on flea. I don't even know if I can do that though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. So he originally had these. It looks like this ammo sucks too. Oh, I needed this. I can run. Oh, oh shit. Huh? Ah, uh, could be good. Let me look up. Uh, let me look up how garbage these bullets are. See if it's remotely worth running it. Because I should probably just straight up sell this bolt action and uh, the mags. Only level eleven. I mean, I got level eleven within like ten hours, so I think that's pretty good. It's not like I've been playing all wipe or anything. It's level 11 from yesterday morning. How good is M80 right now? Same as it used to be. BCP FMJ. Oh, this actually, this isn't that bad. It's definitely like way worse than M80. I can, I can kind of use it. It pens level three armors and maybe level four. Oh wait, is that? Yeah, there's also this one. Well, they buffed a bunch of these, didn't they?
Yeah, I think I'm probably just going to sell the mags on flea because I'm assuming they're worth a lot on flea right now. Normally they are. I'm not going to really have guns that I'm running with them for the most part for a while. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to the ammo just in case, but I don't think I actually care about running this gun. No, oh, I'll just sell it now. Yeah, 126k, not too shabby. If I um if I had easy access to better bullets where it made sniping seem like I could actually do it, then I think I'd totally run that. Cause even though bolt actions realistically kinda suck, they are fun. Nice. But yeah, let me see what's in these. Okay. Wait. Missing the required hideout zone for repair. What do I need? I mean, that's okay. But like, what do I need to get in hideout to be able to repair stuff? Oh, that's right. I can do a craft to replenish the hemostat. Maybe I should actually do that. I don't think I've ever done it. Lavatory? Hmm. I still need the, uh, the all for lavatory. That might be a little bit. That's too bad. All right, let me see. Did I craft my thing? Oh, it's getting there. One minute? Okay, we'll wait it out. I think I'll probably end up calling it with that then. Because I think I'll just try and... Try and remember to come in and not waste all my fuel. But I'll go ahead and I'll set the other things so that I can just get that Jaeger quest done. Oh my god. <laughs> Auto selects the one that I don't need to refill. Thanks. Yeah, good call. That's That's what I want. Let's go from three out of three uses to three out of three uses. Yup. Yup, yup. I could go scav again, but I don't think there's that much of a point. God, I look badass. Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's not worth it. Never mind. I'm gonna have to, like, inventory manage to do it. I was gonna put on a different piece of armor. I think this thing would match with it better. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, shit. Right, give me my thing. Wait, I still don't have the squash for this, do I? I do need to go scav. Right? I do need to go scav it. Damn it, man. All right. One more scav. One more scav for some squash. And then I'll dip, because I should, I should go eat. And I should go take a break. I should not sit here and play Tarkov hour after hour with no breaks. It's not healthy. I've been going through this really basic morning routine. I should probably just start working out again in the mornings, but I've been going through through a simpler morning routine lately of I just run up and down the stairs while my coffee brews. And like I get like a little bit of like it's kind of like going for a jog, but I don't have to actually go for a jog. You know, I swear getting just like that little bit of like blood flowing just first thing in the morning, that little tiny bit. Actually, like, it's just nice, man. It wakes me up. It takes so little of not being a complete just instant potato. Is there a stream schedule? No. I've streamed yesterday. I streamed around the same time I started today, which is like 1 p.m. Eastern. Wait, did I? Maybe I streamed later. I don't I don't remember when I started yesterday. Um And then today I started, I think 1 p.m. Eastern, and I've gone till now. 
And I'm probably, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday? Tomorrow I might not stream. I might do some stuff for the weekend. And then Sunday, I think I'll be busy. So I actually might stream tomorrow. I, don't, I might do a short stream tomorrow because I want to be streaming Tarkov when I'm playing Tarkov and I'll probably just play it a bit. But, but there's not really a schedule yet. And I don't know if I'll keep doing it on YouTube or not. Would you look at that? Hey! Just gonna run on over here. Just gonna... Oop. Just gonna run on over here. It's about to be a one minute raid. Uh. Come on. Tell me these haven't been hit. Tell me there's still squash. Look at that. Still squash. I'm gonna do a real fast run through. I might as well. See if there's anything else actually worth looting. Get a little baby bit of money out of it. Then we'll just dip. Oh. Somebody's running back there. Somebody that could interfere with my surviving. So what if... Do a little this. Huh! No, I'm not greeting for that loot. Uh-uh. I got my squash. I got my craft. I get my Jaeger quest done. I'm dipping. Playing zero games right now. I'm still doing cold showers? I don't even remember. I don't think I did cold showers very long. They are honestly, cold showers are a great way to wake up in the morning. Straight up. They fucking suck. So. <laughs> I haven't done them in forever. I also, I don't even shower in the mornings anymore. I think it can be a healthy routine, but like, since I don't have anything that I'm going out to do, like there's not really a point. So I just, I normally shower like middle of the day slash evening. When I have some downtime, I normally shower after I like edit a video while that thing's going, while it's like rendering and stuff. Yeah, I did do them for a little while. I did them for, God, it might have been, in my head it was like a week. I bet it was like a month. <laughs> what you looking at there, <laughs> there, bud? <laughs> Most useless scav, <laughs> POV. <laughs> The funny thing is though, if any PMC runs by or any or any scam that like betrayed somebody, oh he is getting domed by that little corner scav. Imagine being the guy that actually checks for that scav. Yeah, he's Premier Pro. Adobe reaps in cash from me. Holy shit, Adobe is expensive. I think it's just worth it though. Adobe makes really good stuff. And that way I don't have to look up like scuffed versions because I'm pretty sure I think for the most part you're either using something that's free or practically free or you're using Adobe or you're using something that's even potentially higher end than Adobe. So. Yeah. But holy shit, do they get I'm pretty sure they buy out a bunch of like potential competitors and they just like farm the market. I could be wrong. I feel like that's almost something that they have to be doing. They do make good shit. I'll give them that. And I do rely on it super hard. Because, like, I use Illustrator a tiny bit, Photoshop a lot, Premiere a lot. So. It's not like, at least, I'm not just using one thing that they make. If I ever do, like, edits for something, like serious edits, then I'll use After Effects too. At some point I was trying to learn it a little bit. After Effects seems like kind of a pain in the ass and I didn't really need it. Oh yeah, <laughs> well I've had, like, I should have had this quest, normally this quest would have been done, like, yesterday, so, I actually want to get it done and move on to the other Jaeger stuff, especially because Jaeger quests normally give a lot of XP, and I want to get Flea Market pretty quick if I can, open up some different, some different gear opportunities for me, 
Because like I am reaping in rubles right now. Not reaping in. I am raking in rubles right now. I got like three mil plus stuff to sell on the flea. But that three mil means nothing when all I can do is like, ooh, I bought a stock AK 50 times. <laughs> I guess it'd be a lot more than 50. I don't really have anything to do with my money yet, so I wanted to try and get fully unlocked. I'm just grinding these quests for the most part. I normally I normally try and fill my slots too, but I'm not very greedy with the slots. Normally, if something's worth at least close to 10k, I just pick that thing up. But it depends too, because if it's like later in the wipe, then I don't care. But when it's when it's still me trying to level up the from the super noob part of the wipe where you have tier one traders. I just realized that I had like an actually good backpack that I might not even I do this. <laughs> I think I just want to sell it. I don't think I care about keeping it. Oh, I guess I could leave it there. I'll just use it tomorrow. Oh, I had a mustache. Would you look at that? Oh, well, if you pick up everything, then it's super easy to fill up. This is only because it was a scav and I just had like one goal with a scav. I wasn't even going to do it. I just want to get the quest done. Yeah, normally otherwise I would. All right, I need, um, I'm probably not going to actually take them, but I need, I need food recommendations. I am probably just going to order some food. At least soon. Thoughts. Thoughts on good food. I have access to, like, everything. Jungle? What? Was I supposed to say guide? <laughs> Jungle kid? <laughs> Yo, if it was supposed to say guide, I have no clue how I figured that out. <laughs> uh, potentially, yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I actually... What? I guess I use the other ones. I thought I had more crackers that I'd bought already. There you go. Boom. Pizza? Mmm. Yeah, I, I got Thai food the other day. Yeah, curry. I have so many curry options, man. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do curry. Oh my god, there's a curry place. I'm assuming nobody here is from Portland. If anybody here is from Portland, holy shit, Eam has fire curry. So good, man. I might get that if they're open for it right now. They're like a barbecue. I'm trying to remember what the original Asian country is supposed to be. Thai? I think they're Thai barbecue fusion. I got this all set, right? We're good. That. Do this before I forget, and somehow I don't think I'll ever eat them. Should be fine. I thought that I very vaguely knew where the... I'm assuming you know, you pronounce it Canary Islands, like the bird. Although I guess maybe people pronounce the bird differently based on where they're from. I thought I kind of knew. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew I don't. I thought they were... Uh... But I do now. You know what? I learned something. That's always crazy to me, man. The concept of living in like a super obscure place like that is so bizarre to me. In some ways, I think it'd be really cool. In some ways, it's probably not. But it's just so interesting. Because like I've, I, I don't know, like US in a major city. Whereas like there really are so many places where you can live in like somewhere tiny. Like there's so few spots around the world where you can live on like islands that are that small. That's really cool.
pretty big. It doesn't look very big. Not having everything you need. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream. I'm going to get something. I don't know. I'm going to get some sort of food. Maybe I'll just make food. Maybe I just won't be lazy. I have stuff I can make. I just don't want to, you know, you know. My guy has Google Maps up. I do <laughs> literally, I literally Google Maps it because I was curious. Yeah, because I have a friend that's really into um, into geography. And so, like, he 100% would instantly know because he knows lots of way more obscure shit. So I was curious. Like, hmm, is this something I actually know? Nope. I don't know much. I know some. You know, I, I know enough that normally, I very rarely would I be in one of those YouTube videos where people ask, like, where is this continent? Something like that. Um, where is Paris? Stuff like that. Or they either point to a map or you're just supposed to know, like, what country it's in. I would, I would do pretty solid in most of those. The ones that are supposed to be, like, embarrassing. Now, if it was, like, actual details, like I actually know something, something beyond just school education, then I'd probably struggle. I would assume. But anyways, have a good one, guys. I will maybe be streaming tomorrow or something. I'm not totally sure. Um, I kind of want to, but I might be busy doing other things. We'll have to see. And then other than that, Sunday, almost definitely no stream. Maybe I'll do an early stream because I probably have a little bit of time for it. Jesus, that scared me. The music, man, I swear there was like a bush rustle. I'm not even in a game and I thought I was getting like flanked by some dude. Oh my God. Arkov really does a number on you. But yeah, anyways, have a good one, guys. Um, I think as far as I can tell for the foreseeable future, I think any of the other streams will still be on YouTube like I've done today and today and yesterday.